probably a good idea. Hello. Hey, welcome to the Receive Podcast. Everybody. This week brought to you by what? Pro Flowers, Sherry's Berries, and Trunk Club. Not wow. necessarily in that order, but in another order. Uh, it's an annual tradition. Well, first of all, I'm Gus. I'm Gavin, and I'm, I'm excited. I'm Barbara, and I'm also excited. This is Bernie. And Gus. I'm Bernie's sanitizing It is the fourth annual... Rooster Teeth Pancake Podcast. Is this the fourth one? Well, no, it's the third one, because the first one... I asked before the show, and you said this was the fourth. I didn't say... I sh- look like a fucking fool now. It's the fourth said one. Fourth. I said this was he the third one, fourth. and I then said, you told me it was the fourth. I said you spent the first one making fun of me that it wasn't real. That doesn't count as well, we still asked had for pancakes. this reason. I wasn't even listening, it if it makes you feel any better. You're the one who answered. <laughs> he said three. He said I four. just said yes. Did I say yes? You said no, four. Nah. Because I said three. None telling me. God damn it. Welcome to the third annual fucking pancake podcast. Gus, well, we had an Gus, don't here. taint such a good day with your anger. It's there's no way, there's no way. Did you fuck up the second one that bad? It seems like we had to go at least two before you fucked it up with those professional pancake makers. Wait, this oh, is, is the it the fourth one? Yeah, this is the fourth, fourth one. one. Gavin's wrong. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, do you want me to count for you? 2016, 2015, 20... We've been on the podcast for three decades, so... This is oh, the sun. first one wasn't on Pancake Day. It was just about Pancake Day. This is the fourth. You're right. I think we got it together really it fast. I take it back. <laughs> All right. I honestly, I, I forgot how long I've lived here. I've been here a long time. <laughs> I'm fucking kill you. So listen, we'll, we can get back to this in a second. Who wants pancake first? Uh, Barbara, 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 raise first your hand first. Hands up. Beer in the mouth. What I'm so fascinated in by is that the audience. You had to, she had that beer up to her mouth for a long time, and it doesn't look like anything's been drank out of it. You're, you're a dainty, a dainty Barbara, sipper. Barbara, what do you want? Your pancake. I'm gonna, oh. like, I, I'm gonna answer. I want chocolate chips and and strawberries. I would like. Um, let's go for some. The audience loves this chocolate pancake podcast, and banana. but I don't know why because, because it's pancakes. They don't get to eat them. But don't and rub it in. So delicious. Oh, I, I'm not trying to rub it in. I'm just like, I'm excited, but I know why I'm excited. I get to eat. Them. I see plenty of people making pancakes along with us. Oh yeah, you should tweet us your uh, pancakes I hashtag RT podcast. Hey Babs, what do you want? I'm gonna is put your strawberries on top so they don't get all. Cooked. Oh, I appreciate it. Put, put some nanners. Should in Should we explain this for people who in it? haven't yeah. experienced cooked? pancake podcast before? Actually, yeah. I'll so this is because of Shrove Chuck Tuesday. Chips. Shrove Tuesday, which is tomorrow, um, right? It started like yeah. many things on the podcast start with us thinking Gavin was talking out of his ass. It's the day before Ash Wednesday, Shrove Tuesday. Often, often called Mardi Gras in yeah. some places, and uh, it's also known as Pat Pancake Day. Not these kind of pancakes. Usually they have crepes or something, but you know. I'll I think I'm gonna turn this crepes up. Crepes aren't just pancakes, though. A smidge. Yeah, but they kind of are. There's a new grill, so all bets are off. Could be good, could be bad. Probably great. That's all I'm saying. So It'll you're saying that great. Gus ruined the pancake podcast when he hired outside help? For me, yes, because I like making the pancakes. Yeah. Look, Barb's at the ready. I thought you eating them was the best part. I She's thought I was ready. trying to save you from the work. Nah, they were making all goofy ones like pink lemonade pancakes. It was a good pancake though. It was I don't very know. Austin. It was very. It's not a real Pancake Tuesday, though. You know what I'm saying, Gus? It's not a real pancake. It's got <laughs> chocolate chips in it. Unless we're like putting a bunch of shit. You should put some peanut butter in if you're going to put some banana. I'm going to put that over it. You're going to put but, peanut butter on top of it and then yeah. put banana. That's good. And then yeah. I'm also going to put maple syrup on it. If you're going to eat, don't chew into the mic. We no, had a. Uh, chew into the mic. Got it. We had a Dan Grishy special at the Waffle the other day. We went to the Waffle in LA, which is a, our, one of our favorite places to I eat. I feel like. When we go to Los Angeles. Usually when you and. Because it's typically just you and I go and we'll get three waffles between us. And usually we take like a little edge out of one of them each, but we yeah. never finish them. We devoured all of them this time. We were pretty hungry that time. We ate all the waffles. Gavin and I actually had a really good trip to LA. That was, I thought, Why are you for surprised once? by that? Yeah, you're making it sound like that never happens. Uh, I mean, I go places with Gavin where it's like I just went to Sydney and Gavin was there, but I don't, I don't like feel like I see Gavin. Is it Gavin. Was just you and Gavin? Because <laughs> I was there for about 10 it seconds. Was just you that two, is right? true. But it's just, you know, he, uh, we talked about this last time, but he flew 16 flights in January. Yeah, and then immediately started February by flying more. I walked six. I mean, we flew back uh, from LA, guys. He landed in Austin with me. <clears throat> in three hours later, he went home, and then he, three hours later, he went back to the airport to fly away to somewhere else. Yeah, I Same went to day. the office. I had a quick little meeting, and then I went home and packed again, <laughs> and then I left oh, again. That's nuts. Yeah. I'm gonna caress that. Baby. The, you know, you know, uh, Bernie, how whenever we travel, yeah, and weird crap happens. You said Bernie was like you were saying it for the first time. Bernie right? said like, yeah, go ahead. When we do what, what? Well, we we go places and like, oh, that is perfect. perfect. We need a close up. Look at I'm that. I'm sorry to interrupt the story. a great way to start. We need a close up on that. Look pancake. at this. You can see the brown. It's uniform. It's gorgeous. Do we really They're, not have pancake cam? They're scrambling. Unprepared. This ca- listen, we got to leave room for improvements on pancake cam. <laughs> there it is. The there it is. Oh, wait, Look go, at that. Go even closer. <laughs> no, we got th- some. There's a little bit of chocolate on there, but that's don't ignore that. Tilt it up. Tilt it up so you can see the perfection in the brown. I can't. I don't want to mess up the bottom cooking. Barbara will show it when she gets it. Should be super happy about so, it. So typically, like, either coincidental or quite strange stuff happens when we travel together. Say what? Do you want to explain what happened when we traveled together this time? What happened? 
With the fireplace? Oh, we actually took a video of it. We should just put the video up <laughs> we should at some that. point. But uh, there was a, there was a, we got an Airbnb. Let me get Barbara her thing. You explain it because I got to serve pancakes. So we got an Airbnb and it had a light switch driven fireplace. So, so like a gas fire- one. Yeah, they had like the glass beads. Yeah, and basically like click on the fireplace. But you can have a gas it. fireplace, so it doesn't run off a light switch. That's like a whole different level. You know what I'm saying, Gus? Mm-hmm. So this thing was like really fancy. Oh yeah. Look at oh, that. Perfect. You are deluxe pancakes. tonight. I'm doing a great job. This looks like pancakes they would make in The Sims. There you go, Barbara. There's chocolate chips in there. I recommend you put a little bit of the bananas on it and oh, some peanut butter. Lush. Can I get the uh, the display over here so I can see the the thing? The thing. So I'm talking to the control room. So when we showed up, they gave us. This big bag, like gift bag, filled with candy bars and balloons. And it was like, sorry, the fireplace isn't working. Okay, like, we didn't even know there was a fireplace. We don't give a shit. The hotel did that? No, no, this is Airbnb. 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 Oh, this is the house. Keep up, Barbara. <laughs> Little house in Hollywood that I we was stayed at. too distracted by pancakes. So we were like, okay, okay, great. So I was just ate like five bars of candy. Of course, Gus, because it was there. <laughs> and, uh, well, you're not going to let it go to waste. You also ate, asshole. You can, you'll be rude to your, to your host. You also ate all of the cookies from the at midnight dressing room. <laughs> No, I didn't. Yeah, you ate a <coughs> No, I did. I had one. Don't. How dare you? <laughs> so the next day, Gavin and I had to go do something terrible. What did we do that was so awful? Oh, the At What's Trending podcast. Oh. So we did that. <laughs> we did that, and then we went back to uh, we went back to the house for a brief time before we went to midnight. Well, in that brief amount of time, apparently they had sent a repairman to come fix the fireplace because I just needed a part. And so when we actually walked in, the manager of the Airbnb was there, and he was like, oh, so sorry, sorry. I was leaving you guys a note that the fireplace is fixed now. And I was like, I don't care. You just still don't care about this fireplace. I was like, I really don't care. But thank you for coming by. And uh, look at that. It's perfect. Who used a fireplace in LA? Look at that. Thank Nobody. You. So Hipsters. Then as soon as the guy walks out the door, I say goodbye, he walks out the back door, I turn around, Gavin is at the fireplace trying to turn the fireplace on. I was excited. Might as well, right? They put so much effort into making it work for you. And so Gavin is doing this thing, and I'm like, there's instructions right there. Just read the instructions. And he's like, I'm not doing it. I can figure out a fireplace, Oh, God. So he's going to do it. So finally, after, literally, Gus, it was 10 to 15 minutes of him staring at it, clicking, pushing the button. Finally, boof, it goes. And it's like the fireplace is going. Then he sets down. That looks great. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So then he sets down the remote for the fireplace that you used to connect it to, to start it up. He sets it down, then sits to look at the fire. He, but he's been looking at it now for 10 or 15 minutes. He immediately goes, it looks like there's a pair of sunglasses in there. Look at that. <laughs> he goes, look. He goes, is that a pair of sunglasses? And I go, what? And I look up and I go, are there sunglasses in the fireplace? And he goes, I think there's sunglasses. Look, you see the earpiece? I go, turn off the fireplace. <laughs> So he turns off the fireplace. Sure enough, he melted the guy's sunglasses because he left them <laughs> in the fireplace the when he who fixed it. The Airbnb? Apparently, we don't know. So Gavin is so panicked. What do you think Gavin's solution is to this? I'm like, we should call the guy and tell him we burned Try this. To take him out. Throw him away and hide him. He wants to bury them in the nope. front yard of the Airbnb. <laughs> I'm like, who, who, how do you come up with that? Well, because otherwise, he's he either going to leave them burnt in the fireplace and he's going to know we messed with it. Or you're gonna have to call him and say, I just melted your sunglasses. But really, you, you, you have no them. responsibility over That's that. That's what I was saying. Also, but why are you trying to hide it then? He made it. I, <laughs> he to fixed avoid it. the confrontation. Gus, what do you want? Uh, give me, I'll just take chocolate chips and. You guys are boring. Some, what, what we got? Gotta what, start off. So I'll tell you what, surprise me. We have salmon. Surpr- no no oh, salmon, yeah. but surprise me. All right. Make me something crazy. These are fucking good. Anyway, but I, I just don't like being thrown into uncomfortable situations but by you don't have, the world, the universe. You don't have to do anything there. The but universe you, you made me melt sunglasses. Right, but you don't have to call the guy. I know. You don't have to fucking- I just felt bad. Tell him that you murdered his sunglasses or anything. Why did you feel bad? He fixed the fireplace so you could use it, so you used it, which is probably yeah. good. He's and the like, thing yeah. is, is that it was dark in the fireplace. You also don't sunglasses. ever set anything down without thinking, <laughs> oh, I shouldn't put that there. I gotta remember to grab that. Yeah. yeah right? It's his own fault. Yeah, if you put, if you put that in- I'm, I'm afraid of confrontation. I don't like talking to people. This would not have bothered me at all. So, okay, so you've just melted someone's sunglasses. What do you do? Just leave it and not say anything? I throw it away. Mm. Maybe if I was feeling nice, I'd write a note that was like, your sunglasses got melted. I would not say, I melted your sunglasses. I would say, your sunglasses got melted. <laughs> by the, the sole occupant of this house. <laughs> <laughs> by, by the fact that you left them in the fireplace. Mm. Signed, the Hollywood sunglass burner. <laughs> <laughs> Stop me before I burn again. All right. Um, so I'm seeing, uh, apparently, uh, some people here are uh, having a pancake party. That, pancake so party. They can, they can oh, eat, they can yeah, eat yeah, I want to see well. a picture of that pancake party. Oh, it's a so, movement. Uh, By the way, buddy. At light, my firebird. Best pancake you've ever made. Yeah, absolutely. Really? Yep, this yeah, is I'm, great. I'm really good. Your best work yet. Oh, pancake party! 
There's a lot of people there. Oh my god, that's better than us. Man, I didn't know that many people watched the podcast. <laughs> there are literally dozens of people watching right now. <laughs> and half of them are at that party. I want to go there. That seems way more fun than our thing. Hey. Well, we see, I see you guys all the time. I'm having a blast. It's not, it seems like just friends hanging out, Gus, and not like super regimented like the Rooster podcast is now. Yeah, I ruined it. Do you, what, what is that is criticism pick, that you always get? I don't know what it is. It's like... That like we're regimented. Like I have... It's not like I have... A list of topics that we're like burning through and have to get through. I, I don't understand it at all. The only thing that's regimented is I've got a couple of ads to read. Beyond that, it's like whatever. And you also try to stop. You us have a hot stop. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do try stop. to stop you at the end. I guess if they're comparing it to like the off-topic podcast, which literally has no structure whatsoever. Yeah, that. <laughs> then I understand the, that this is that regimented. criticism's been there for years, for a long time. It's actually yeah. a comparison to the old drunk tank where we were all like jammed in a conference room, staring at each other, we, and sweating. Gavin and I were just talking about this. We were. During the pre-show, you know, there's a so whole crew of people here setting stuff up, running around, yeah. making sure everything's working. I was just taking it in. And Gavin was like, remember when, like, five minutes before the podcast, we would just break microphones out and stick them on a table and just, like, go? And now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, but they seven, arranged eight people all of working. This. But to be fair, we wouldn't have had this. <laughs> That's true. That's exactly right. We do, we do, here's how the, the fourth annual Pancake Podcast would have worked in that environment. One of us would have realized halfway through, oh, it's Pancake Tuesday. Shit, we should have done something. That's exactly how that would have worked. <laughs> yeah, we did. Get, Patrick sent us an email like three weeks ago, like warning us that Pancake Podcast was coming Please up. Be available. I don't think it was a warning. I think it was a. Uh, these are moment th- these of are great pancakes. They're perfect, Bernie. I'm embarrassed about how long I was looking forward to tonight. You it's were here whole week. I've been just Gavin like Gavin has never shown up that early for a podcast. I think you were here at about six ten. You know, maybe yeah. right around six o'clock. Almost an hour and a half. You were asking, "What time do we start? What time is it?" Like Gavin, you know what time we start. You're here every fucking week. Okay, here, here's what I've I done for you I'm trying to come guys. up with ways we could eat earlier. I wanted to do the post show before we started. I have placed in here ground up graham cracker crumbs, chocolate chips, and then I want you to put some of the marshmallow spread on it and make yourself a s'more pancake. Oh. Oh, fuck yeah. Mm. You can even like fold it over and make a little sandwich. I'll eat s'more of that. Oh, hey. How dare you. I, dude, I, I went, Gavin and I last week were on uh, At Midnight uh, with Colton Dunn, who it turns out is a cheater. I don't know. He won, but I'm, re- I'm really upset about it. <laughs> I don't know if you know this about me. This is kind of plays into the Amazing Race thing. I'm actually, like, when it comes down to it, I'm very, very competitive. Like, no. do, do you remember <laughs> Do you remember we went on the Nerdist bowling thing, and yeah. I went bowling for, like, six weeks straight? I bowled the best game of my life on that show in front of cameras. I can easily say that. I think I bowled, like, still a, lost. I bowled like, a 235 or something. It's because half of the team got inexplicably really drunk for some reason. Here, give him that. What? Put some of that oh, marshmallow on there, guys. You'll be happy, man. G man. All right, can I make a can I make a pancake for some of the in the crew? I want, Tyler said he wanted me to make him a pancake. Is he still in there? What's, yeah. Why is Tyler playing favorites? What's wrong with you? I don't know. He said Five he wanted touch. me to make him a pancake with what on it, Tyler? Just four pancakes. Four just, pancakes. Just four pancakes. Yes. A stack. Like just plain. Just plain. Tyler's. I, so I want to add. Tyler's very hungover and not feeling well. How are you going to eat four pancakes? <laughs> Why Sounds are you so like hungover from the Super Bowl? Yeah. Yeah. Where, what, you, what happened? What, explain that. Um, oh, yeah, there's a sidecar. Oh, we have a sidecar set up. Oh, there is. Oh, okay. Let me make his pancakes. Right here. Get out here, Co. Um, I thought it was... Uh, we had a little Super Bowl party last night, so... How come you didn't invite me? <clears throat> um, Think fast. Shit. Well, it's just... We just, you know, we didn't have enough room. What's been great is listening to him and Bethany talk about it all day in my office <laughs> well, while I'm I, fucking <laughs> sitting there. I mean, that sounds like a good time. You mm-hmm. wouldn't have gone. Bethany you wouldn't have gone. I would not have gone. Yeah, you wouldn't have. No. And Bernie, you're, you're always busy, so I, I know that you, oh, you probably had something going it. on. There so, we go. Yeah. All right. Good so. excuse. Right. Are you sunburned? I, yeah, I got um, a little sunburned yesterday. <laughs> How? So. How? How? <laughs> How? I was just like, doing something like, in the backyard. It was 20 degrees yesterday. You like you've been on the beach. Are you wearing bronzer? No, I no, I just I I just burn real easily. So all right, fair enough. Yeah, but I won't bite you next year. How about that? I would love it. Like awesome. Are you making him a stack? I'm making him four. He wanted four. That is a modest stack. I think we let him off the hook early. We Easy did. without digging into this fucking tan or the sunburn that he's got. You know, for an events person, Bethany, who is now she's over RTX. That's the way to have fun else. in life, right? Be an events person. Yeah, but she is like remarkably like out of touch when it comes to like inviting people to like personal events. Like she'll talk about stuff like in front of you and then like walk away and you're like, well, that sounded like a She's good time. She's way more popular <laughs> than any of us. Pass me a plate. Mm-mm. 
You can't do that, right? Gotta flip a thing. What? I did not understand a word of that. You un oh. <laughs> you gotta flip it. It was like Chewbacca. I thought I thought you understood him. It was like some kind of. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Some I was chewing Baca. I got a shit of it. Got Ow. it. Fist bump. Oh, force knuckles. <laughs> so. How was, um, so this time of at midnight must have sucked because I wasn't there. You know what? Actually, Gavin and I agreed that we had more fun the first time, but it probably was because that was our first time doing that show. Hmm. Yeah. We were so. a, bit, a bit rushed this time, too. You felt we were rushed? I just felt like it was over and done with, like, before. I felt like we were, like, enjoying it more the first time, like, sucking it in. Do you think it's because yeah, the show's been, been going for longer? Or just because we, we had, the first time was the first time we'd ever done it. That's what I was saying. It's yeah. like, like, our experience was like, we were like, like everything was cool and new, and we were like, ah, oh, old hat now. The audience was awesome, though. They were Gavin, fantastic. once again, would have lost, except Chris Hardwick threw him a bone yeah. and let him stay in. I didn't get the red light. I deserved the red light. You did. He What's the red light for? Me. Yeah, it means you suck and you gotta leave. Oh. You get eliminated. Gavin's very familiar with the red light. <laughs> yeah, they eliminate from three players down to two, and then the final challenge is only through two players. Oh, they changed the format then? No, it's typically two players. So for ours, yes, they changed the format, because he uh, didn't want to get rid of Gavin. He didn't want to split up laser team. That's a, good, that's a good call. That was very nice of him. Although I knew I was going to win... Because in the final thing, they put up my answer first, and if they put your answer first, then they, they, they think it's the weakest one. Colton must have cheated, because he had everyone ch chanting boot group. How did he do that? <laughs> That's like, questionable. We all went out, they all cheered for us, Colton came out, boot group, boot group. He must have gotten out like while, he must while you guys were busy he doing something backstage. Yeah. The suspect, right? Yeah. Maybe, Maybe they're just going who who who. Maybe no, they're they, just doing that. <laughs> they have the guy who uh, who do like jokes and like warm up the crowd before you guys come out. Maybe yeah. Colton knew the guy and asked. That him dude to was it. way funnier than us. <laughs> I don't know yes, who, please. when we yeah when we went when I was there for our showing. Was like man, that guy's really funny. And he was like talking about nothing. He was yeah. like killing people about his experience. Like he, yeah, I went to Starbucks earlier, waiting in line for a drink. And everyone's like cracking up, dying. Like. This guy's just talking about his his <laughs> day. He just went and got coffee, and people are fucking rolling in the aisles. You're having a blast. So yeah, the energy in places like that is a lot of fun. Like that, that audience is just—they were great. Yeah, fires you up. It, it does. Keeps like you on your toes. anytime you say a joke and there's like 80 people laughing, you're like, I get yeah, used to this feeling, shit. If you're feeling tired and then you go out and do something like that, you won't be tired for the duration of the filming. Are they well, told like to laugh it up a little bit for everything? Sure. I know, there's like, always, talk shows they do that a little. There's bit. always part of that. Not sure. our jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but there was no like, there was okay. no like, there's there's no that dude with the headset raising his arms like that. There's none of that. No applause sign or I, laughter sign. If there was, I didn't see it. I'm not, I'm not aware of that part. What do you think is the most you've ever laughed in your life? When Kara said that the Back to the Future car goes <laughs> north through time, that was probably the hardest I've I ever laughed. I want to see the footage of that because that might be away. the hardest I've ever laughed at this company for sure. Hmm. I laugh for a good 15, 20 minutes. I feel like just like <laughs> couldn't catch my breath, couldn't stop laughing. You couldn't write that joke. Uh, what? There was also, I read a story recently about a dude who uh, discovered uh, prostate masturbation on Reddit. And Go it, on. I know. <laughs> and the way, the way he wrote this thing, just I laughed unfucking controllably the whole time. And everybody in the comments was like talking about how fucking funny the guy was at writing. Oh, you want to read you the first paragraph? Yeah. yeah. The first paragraph. What, right, so is, like you just, what is prostate masturbation? What is that basically? You just finger your asshole? Let, let's, yeah. let, let, what made you laugh the hardest, Gavin? You got a little bit of a, That's I'm, I'm getting this to wipe it up. Gavo? <laughs> What's up? What did you laugh the hardest at in your in life? In my life? Yeah. I can't even think of it. I, I feel like I've laughed. You have like a laugh ceiling, and you hit that ceiling a few times throughout. Yeah. I, when I started to look for this, it auto-completed for me, so that's a good sign. Tyler, your pancakes are ready. Would you like any syrup? You're just gonna eat. What, the, what the fuck pancakes. is wrong with you? I'm a pretty like. Do you want maple syrup? Year, but with pancakes, I just like them just for dry like pancakes. Even yep. even maple syrup. I'll take it. Okay, good good boy. Well, I feel like he's uh, okay. I've never seen a Canadian part with maple syrup. This before. is the title. of This is I 23 male just discovered prostate stimulation. This was on Best of that I found it, and I prefer <laughs> it to sex with my girlfriend. Like by a lot. Help? Question mark. Then here's this thing. First, sorry for the way I wrote this. Writing in this way. Helps me because I'm really embarrassed by all of this, and it was the only way I convinced myself that I could post it even anonymously. So just bear with me, okay? This starts in a stupid, embarrassing way. I'm 23, but my doc decides he wants to do a prostate exam during my physical, which requires him to stick his finger up my butt. Now, quick question. Isn't that like 20 years too early? Yeah, I was, I was about to say, 23? Maybe he has a family history of it. Okay, Maybe so... Really shitting blood. Okay, so he pushes in, and it's the first time anyone's ever been in there. Like, <laughs> ever. And two things happen within three seconds. I get idiotically, you could bend a steel bar around my dick, stupid hard, <laughs> and I groan involuntarily 
and explosively and horrifically. <laughs> My doctor laughed his ass off. I mean, he laughed and told me it was okay. Really, he says, it's pretty common, he says. Yeah, it's but his face tells me <laughs> not that common. <laughs> so then it goes on to talk about, like, it's a big, long thing. It goes on to talk about his adventure of, like, how he explores that. And he's just like... <laughs> And he's just like, I don't know what to do with myself at this point. <laughs> you got to put this in the link dump. I got, I got to read this. Yeah. So what is just, what if is, you look yeah. up, if you look up Reddit prostate drumstick, you'll find, you'll find Wait, it. Drumstick? drumstick. He goes and buys a drumstick at a music store. I was, that was my next question. I was like, how does he reach it? Like, isn't it? Well, I don't know why I'm asking you about the prostate. <laughs> how high up is that you. thing? I don't know. What are you asking me? <laughs> you don't, you don't know why. He, he's using his fingers, so I would think not that, not that high up. <laughs> yeah, the doctor is, but the guy. I don't know. I don't know. But I, could, but, I have no idea. But could you imagine, no idea. Could you imagine getting sexually aroused during a medical procedure? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <to where> you <laughs> grow. I'm also imagining like an instant erection must have hurt so An bad. instant erection followed by a grow. <laughs> Poor guy! Poor guy! <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had, like, if you had to touch your own prostate, what, go would, ahead. You, what would you go for with just, like, daily objects? What day of the week is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it the weekend? Do I, do I have a recovery time? Object? Why would you... Okay. What? Well, assuming you can't reach it on your own with your finger. You might be able to, if you can get that angle. What would you go for? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I'm confused. What? what you why, why would you do? Why would you be doing this? I just don't understand. If you're curious. Hey, me, what are those, Seth? If you're curious, okay, oh, like yeah, not right. for a medical purpose, but for a get-off. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure a doctor wouldn't like go and get a spoon from the cutlery <laughs> drawer and shove it up your ass. Drumstick <laughs> from the music store. <laughs> the, uh, the handle of a spoon, not. Yeah, I, 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 no, <laughs> not the scooping. I thought you meant the big part of it. Uh, All right, go, I, where's the where's the rest of the mix? Did you? It's, it's empty. Okay, I, I, saw, I need another one. You, you know, no waters. You know that um, that TV show, How It's Made. What can I make? Can yeah. I make somebody a pancake? Please? I saw a How It's Made recently, where I they made Ashley's drumsticks. Okay. They just like, and I thought they just like mill it down. Yeah, this would be the most boring right. thing in the world. Maryland, but there's things I didn't think about, like they have to then sort them by weight because of the different densities of wood, so that like they're balanced with each other. It's like, oh, I never would have thought about that. Yeah, everything's so cool. That's a great show. Yeah, it's, it'll take like the most mundane thing, and then like, like a really rubber glove for washing up is. Is fascinating too. All the, I, I love all the food stuff. Like you just see like a giant, two giant vats of food that come together to make one other type of food. You see, that, that show creates a lot of gifts, just like satisfying gifts of like machinery, machinery making stuff. Mach machine, machine, machinery. You have another stroke. Machuno. <laughs> What's Machuno from? Like it's from Tim Golf. <laughs> wow, look at you, Machuno. That's Mishuno. how they say hello. Mishini. I want the first time I met someone from Maxis. Mm -hmm. uh, they said that they had worked on Sim Golf, so I said Machuno like that, like a hello, and they were like. Wow, he was, he was, he like he was impressed. He's like, no, no. He's like, I don't think anybody played that game. He's like, he was like so happy. Oh, that's awesome. That uh, that I knew that game. Was it Maxis or was it? I thought Did, it was Maxis. What was the group that made like Sim Ant and all like the Sim Tower? Wasn't that also Maxis? Was it Maxis? Must yeah. have been them. It's a bunch of knockoff shit. Speaking of Sim Ant. Oh right, we didn't talk about that. That Ant Simulator game. I guess one of the developers left, or was it? Was he one of the developers? No, he quit. He was, yeah, he was, he was like the main developer, I believe. That's just like semantics. the main programmer. Because the people running... <laughs> it was a crowdfunded game. The people running the, the company that was making this crowdfunded game... His business partners. Supposedly wasted all the money on... Was it booze and... Strippers. <laughs> booze booze and, strippers. and strippers. Yeah. They didn't say hookers, but he said strippers. Okay. And they wasted all the money What's on that. So expensive? they couldn't make the game they crowdfunded. Hookers. Hookers are more expensive than strippers? I would think so. A good hooker. Depends. You talking about value or are you talking about just raw dollars? Like money to time ratio. Yeah, I guess you get, you get like a... Bulk time discount well, with a hooker, I mean, right? No, a stripper would be a, stri a stripper is way more expensive, I think, than a hooker would be. How much is a typical lap dance, Bernie? Twenty. It's twenty dollars for a song, and they usually shorten the songs too. Everywhere is that like a consistent? I'm pretty sure twenty bucks is going right. Yeah, that's for pretty. That's a pretty lap dance. Confirm. How do you, you want know? to get this off here, Babs? Yeah. Who's this for? Me. Oh. How, how does he know? Well, what? Barbara made another one for herself before we made any for you guys. Sorry about that. How does he know the price? No one asked. Because why wouldn't he? He's probably Ben. He's a, he's an adult. So if you went an hour, that'd be two. Let's do the math on this. Okay, so 60 divided by three minutes songs. That's 20 You got 20 songs. lap dances at 20 bones a piece. That's 400 bucks, right? Mm hmm yep. yes. Good choice of words, Burns. Thanks, buddy. And uh, 400 bucks. You think a hooker costs $400 an hour? <laughs> Can we get hooker why, prices? Are you, why are you cutting to me? I don't know. Uh, Can we get a price check on hook? People are saying yes very 400 quickly. 400 bucks for an hour? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, it's also like, it depends what you want her to do, I assume. So who in the control room has had a hooker? Yeah, who answered that the fastest? Someone was really, they're raising hands. I did uh, photography and video for 
You, you did, did photography and video for a hooker? Yeah, for her website to update it. Yeah. Get on the get on the sidebar. <laughs> get over there. <laughs> we, we, we need to talk about this. I want to talk, want to, talk to you about this. It's all your fault. By the way, you're ruining Pancake Tuesday with this story. Just so you know. <laughs> this is a family, family podcast. No, it's not. I do, though, I do feel an obligation to be a little more family friendly in the weeks around when Amazing Race is coming out because that's a way more family friendly show. It's one of actually the reasons, and I'm not saying that because I feel like an obligation to like, like I'm scared to be my normal self. I'm just saying it's like I relied on them being a family friendly show. That's one of the reasons why I agreed to do the show. Uh, Ash and I would watch episodes of it. And in one episode, they literally blurred the nudity on a statue in a public park. <laughs> they did. They blurred the nudity. That's how family friendly the show is, which wow. gives me comfort knowing that if something like my pants fall off, you know, <laughs> we're in the middle of Alaska or something and my pants fall off, they're not going to like take advantage of that. So, <laughs> what so odd problem to have to worry about? One of the, pants fall dude, off. You, uh, listen, when they're filming you, 24 hours a day, something's going to go wrong. Yeah. You're, you're, you're going to dick flopping around on CBS. It's going to be a little, little bit naked? cooch. Uh, before we cut to the sidecar, do we have the Apple TV? Can you all cut to that? Is that available? I don't know why I can see it. Also, we got another, a different party. Fuck. Wow. Where's T uh, DFW? That's the same party. Ashley, Mariel, what do you want in your pancakes? Uh, surprise me. Surprise me. Surprise her. Some, uh, oh. peanut butter chips. Peanut butter chips. You Anything else, Merle? Lady after my own heart there, Mariel. That was also a picture mm. I saw of a guy who printed out a picture of pancakes. Did you see that one? No, I didn't see that. A yeah, it was just him at his computer with a picture of pancakes. That's the, so that's the land pancake party. Should we find out about this hooker? Let's find out about the hooker. All right, say hello. Uh, first of all, introduce <laughs> never, everybody I'm, to you. I'm, I'm never Tell us your name and what you do at Rooster Teeth. All right, I'm Nick. I'm production assistant. I set up the sets and run the cameras and everything. Okay. So. Hello, Nick. Hey, how you Hi. doing? How you doing? So tell us about all your experience with hookers. All right. So, so let's start this from the beginning. She was an escort, not a hooker. So what is it, what's, tell, what's the there's difference between an escort? Difference. I, I think there's a difference. The, the difference is the hooker you'll find on the street in Vegas, right? An <laughs> escort, you actually have to seek them out on through the web or, you know, Craigslist or whatever. What is it? Back pages? Or wherever you do this, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, there's, not uh, that you know. It's like, the, it's like the back pages of Craigslist. It's not Craigslist. It's worse than Craigslist. It's the oh, gotcha. back pages. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, uh, so I did photography and video for for a website to update it, and uh, yeah, they charge a lot more than five hundred dollars an hour. Do you remember how much more it was? than five hundred bucks an hour? How much did you charge an hour? It, it depends. She was a high end hooker. Mm. No, no, she escort. was an escort. According she was a to high you, end escort. that's well, what a high end hooker <laughs> is. An escort. I mean, what it, does that it mean? It is. But when someone's so, a high end escort. So let me ask you this. So an escort here is like it's two adults that go out on a date together, right? Correct. Yeah. And then whatever happens is has nothing to do with the money. It's just consenting adults making their own decisions. Exactly. Is that and the that's, defense? That's that's the exact yeah. Is it, that, on is that your her story? website it actually if you go to an escort's website, they actually are legally What do you mean if? Well, you know, when you go to an <clears> escort's, <throat> escort's do. website. Go does the they, price go down as time goes on? No. What does that mean? Like, so, so the way it happens... Is it like a flight, like if you buy it the day before, it's more expensive, that. but if you like <laughs> book it in advance, it's a little cheaper? The, the, the way I understand it is you go, <laughs> Only if you you go on there, seat. and it, it, it is exactly what Bernie said, which is kind of disturbing that you know this, actually, but it, it is go exactly ahead. how he said that it, uh, it's two adults going and meeting, and anything beyond a date is between two consenting adults. So theoretically, a dude could go out with her be like 800 bucks in after an hour and then get turned down. For her, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's a little different. With her, I, I can't speak for all escorts because I just know her. But yeah, you wouldn't want to do that. No, you wouldn't no. want to speak <laughs> for the whole not. industry because that would just be not. ridiculous. For her, it was uh, she, she would meet with somebody. It's typically over dinner. You go and meet. They would bring an envelope with cash. How much cash? A prearranged pre predetermined amount i think it i think it was for her it was like five hundred dollars for an hour to meet that was to meet to meet to meet and then after that it's meet a with two price, or pre-arranged price Sorry, go ahead. So, so so it was uh you go and you meet they have the cash if she determines that she doesn't like the person uh say you know she's just not feeling the vibe it's creepy whatever she can at that point decide that she's going to opt out of this any further and and go about her way and he'll go his way or they can she taking the money 
No. If she okay. goes her own way, she leaves the money. Everything Why? Is no transaction. Why leave the money if the money's not for anything? Okay, go ahead. Sorry, well, I'm interrupting you, you before well, yeah, she said your legal activity is What stole. she told me, because I asked her about this, I was, I was very interested. But what she told me is that um, she knows within the first 10 minutes if it's going to go anywhere or not. If it's not going to go anywhere, then she's out, and she's not going to take your money. If Barbara, it that's, goes anywhere, not to compare you to a streetwalker, but women know like right away, right? You know if a dude's like worth your time. If you want his ten minutes, you? yeah, you're gonna see with a dude. It's like how quickly is that decision made? Instantly. So Instantly. Have you ever, have you ever come Instantly. around on someone? Have you ever been like, Whoa. <laughs> yes, whoa. Yes, I have, whoa. Kevin. Yes, I have. <laughs> but then, like later, you've been like, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll give him some. And it, and if that did happen, has it hap- happened? Not influenced by alcohol. Have you? Let me ask you the same question then. So we're not singling mm-hmm. Barbara out here, Gavin. Have you ever come around on anybody? <laughs> or on someone? <laughs> Um, no, I feel like I've always been like, <clears throat> that person, I would. I guess it, it wouldn't Yeah, be- you know, like, instantaneously. Yeah. Hey, can somebody you, grab Muriel's pancake? You Here. subconsciously- Thank you for the story. Thank you for clarifying- Thank you. Thank you. About how um, hookers- I think the mind. moment you have a conversation with someone, you, you subconsciously sort them into a yes or no column. I, I want to- Sounds awful, actually. <laughs> I think that's, that's very true. I want to refute- Sounds very Gavinish. Something hey. that someone's on, on Twitter saying. Who is this? Um, Zofori says that- for the record, prostitution isn't legal here in Las Vegas, so no, you wouldn't find one on the streets. That Glad is true. No, that's how that works. Prostitution isn't legal anywhere. <laughs> prostitution is legal in Nevada, right? But it has to be like at a like at a brothel. brothel well, or it's a, the, the it, thing is like in Austin, prostitution is illegal in Austin. But you go up to Runberg, you're gonna find a fucking prostitute. That's very true. That's exactly why they're on the street. That's not how that no. works. That's exactly right. That's so when exactly, you're here can for the marshmallow stuff for Ashley, go find yourself some fun. Bring five hundred dollars at least. You know Runberg. Huh? How'd you know run Because that's where the police are always doing their roundups. You don't see it on the news all the time. That's why I never go there for my hookers. Can I get a fork? <laughs> Can I get a fork? Uh, I should probably read one of these. I'll, yeah. <laughs> should we have a discussion? You think prostitution should be legal? We've been places in the world where prostitution is legal. I don't see why it's You've not. You've been to Germany. We've been to the Netherlands. Yeah. Seems like you kept, society uh, didn't fall apart. There were loads of... Well, we were in the red, red light district. I was about to say a uh, load of hookers. Yeah, because we, we went to the place where all the hookers hang out, specifically. I feel like walking down the streets in the red light district, you would just walk by saying, no, no thanks, no. Because it'd be people going, yeah, lady, crack, yeah, you want heroin? It's just like everything that was illegal on one street. Me? You'd be like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, no, be, I'm, st- I'm good. There'd be so. dudes like, coca, 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 yeah, ecstasy, like, ecstasy, ecstasy. Like, so no, give no. me pills and coke like, in the middle yeah, of the street. Do not wave cocaine and ecstasy at me. Do not wear what are some they, of are the they dust guys in trench gets coats on me. that just come up to you and go, hey, buddy. <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> Look like whatever, just another dude standing in the street. And we didn't get hookers, but Gavin, what did we go do? Looked at them. We got pancakes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what we did in the Netherlands. And we went to Wait, Stuff. was it Barterstuff? Uh, we went to Barterstuff, and then we went to, you were with us when we went to the Anne Frank house, right? You realize yeah. you're holding or that, that just... and you didn't tell Ashley that our pancakes No, I'm about to say Ashley. Ashley got your pancake. Tyler, you want to take it? Yeah. Thanks, man. Covered in your special. Tell her, about, tell her about the party and invite her to. Why are you doing that? <laughs> tell, tell her and tell her about this mysterious tent. Oh. It's over there. Tell actually. her all about it. Anybody else want a pancake? Patrick, want a pancake? Blueberry. 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 All right. Here, uh, let me let me read this uh, this ad here. No. What if I say no? Uh, I want to remind everyone this episode of the podcast <laughs> is brought to you by Pro Flowers. Valentine's Day is this weekend. It's only six days away. Are you tired of guessing wrong on what she wants each Valentine's Day? Don't worry. The Valentine's pros at Pro Flowers are here to take the guesswork out of it. This Valentine's Day, trust the experts at Pro Flowers who give you the confidence that Valentine's Day is done right. Pro Flowers is offering our listeners a dozen red roses plus a free glass vase and chocolates for just $29.99. Or really do it right and upgrade to romantic long stem roses with a premium vase, chocolates, and a spa kit for only $9.99 more. Go to proflowers.com and use code TEETH. Uh, don't wait until this weekend. Send them to her this week. When her coworkers gush over her gift, you'll know you did Valentine's Day right. Pro Flowers is quick, easy, and delivery for Valentine's Day is guaranteed. Can't beat the price and convenience. Pro Flowers takes care of the details, and you get the glory. The only way to get this amazing Valentine's Day deal with chocolates for this week only, go to proflowers.com, click on the blue microphone in the top right corner, and type in teeth. That's proflowers.com. Click on the microphone and type in code teeth. Don't wait for the weekend. Order today. This Do deal it. expires Friday at midnight. Dude, and get flowers it, for somebody. Just pause the podcast right now and do it. You see the domain. You see the code. <clears throat> There's the price. Just go do it. I read a stat that 12% of women ordered themselves flowers for Valentine's Day. For themselves? If they're single. Really? Oh, I would do that. You would order yourself what flowers to get flowers? <laughs> yeah. Do you so, think you're going to be doing that this year? No shame year? in that. No. You think, yeah, you think you'll be single this year, Barbara, with all the <laughs> forks hanging out of your face? Yeah. Uh, this is a good look, Gavin. You should be hairstylist. Barbara, on a scale of 1 to 10, how important is Valentine's Day and like your boyfriend planning Valentine's Day? Like doing, making sure that... 
Like, where does it fall? Expert birthday? opinion here. What's it going? You're very, you're gonna, you'd be very low maintenance. Um, zero? Yeah. You don't give a shit? I mean, it'd be, like, it's nice if I maybe get flowers or, like, whatever. Chocolates. <laughs> Proflowers.com, co teeth. Yeah, exactly. Maybe a combo of both. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's definitely not necessary. What about you, Gavin? You. How important is planning Valentine's Day to you? For me or for a girlfriend? What do you mean? I mean, for you. I'm asking you. No, I like, don't... does it even register with you? No, I wouldn't even notice. I don't care about any of that. I don't, I don't like gifts. You don't like gifts? No, it, like, it puts That's pressure bullshit. on the other person, and then I have to, like... But that, that just means you don't like someone else giving you gifts. It's not that you don't like gifts. Well, I don't mind giving gifts. Like, if you received a gift anonymously, and you never found out who gave it to you, you would you like that gift? or would you? Oh, gift? yeah. We get that all the time with the... I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I can relate to that. I'm, I'm kind of a weirdo. If someone gives me a gift, I don't like having to open it in front of them. Yeah. It's like I would rather take it I into so a dark room crap. and open it there. I got really? so much crap because they did that shenanigans where they filled my office with a bunch of stuff. And all the comments are like, Gavin doesn't open any of the, the gifts that fans give him because it was like a bunch of stuff in boxes. Yeah. None of that was mine. Like that was all the stuff that was under the, the fan art wall in the old office. The blueberries and whipped cream. It was just like left behind with, and cream. with all my oh, stuff. Yeah. And they just assumed it was like all my crap that I didn't open. Well, you know what I actually had to. There's a new. Speech. I open everything ah! that I get, and like there's tons of stuff on my oh. desk that's like. Gavin is absolutely going to open every, any gift he gets given. Blaine wants a the, the one thing that, I mean a that people were right about is that there is a picture. There's a picture of me on my desk, and someone sent it to me in a frame and said, "Please sign this and send it back." But I got it around the time that we switched offices, and I lost the note with oh. all the return address. Oh, that's so I, I've just that got happens. it on my desk now. But I actually thought that was pretty funny, like. To keep a picture of myself on my desk. Well, the guys, like, I, the guys in deserved. Ireland who gave me the picture of them, the one guy signed it like to my biggest fan, Bernie. Oh yeah. And I kept it on here. Yeah. I kept it on the set. It's right behind me over here. Like one of the things that they shoved in my office was like a shoe. Anybody else? Pancake from like two offices Blame. ago. What do you want? Patrick said he wanted some. This is Patrick. Pa- this is Patrick's right there. Oh. Patrick's coming out. Where, when's there you go. my next one coming up? Blaine, you want a pancake? Here, do you want a fourth? You want blueberry? You want blueberries in it when you cook it or on top of it when you're done? Okay. Oh, here comes Patrick. I'm gonna put it out here so people have to see you. Ha <laughs> ha. There's his hand. Hey, there's Patrick. Hey. Do you need a fork? <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? What were we talking about? Oh, we were yeah, talking about gifts. Yeah. yeah, I have a, I have a ton of pictures of myself on my desk. Do you really? He does. Yeah. And I, I, oh. I, I he does a really like. weird thing, too, where Gus hangs photos of himself, but they're usually photos that somebody else gives to him. So it's like us on the podcast panel at RTX a few years ago, Gavin. And he takes post-it notes and he covers the faces of everyone else <laughs> in the photo except for himself. I did that with the banner I've got in my... Most important one. In my office, where uh, it was like from a, the New York event where I got caked in paint, cr- cake, paint, and we couldn't get an Uber. Dude, I was worried about you. Yeah, they basically they sent us the banner that was hanging in the big fan meet up area, and I put it up in my office, and I put a poster over Dan's face. Blaine, did you want the blueberries inside of it or on top of it when uh, you're done? Whatever, whatever you think it's, it's better to do on top of it. Anybody else? Pancake? What would you, you want? The I back? think inside. Blueberry, blueberry? Yeah. afterwards. I got it. Lots this is easy. Make it no, easy on me. Oh, there's the what is, oh, there's the, the photo. We were just talking about that. Oh, there he is. I'm his biggest fan. I like it to the <laughs> bottom. <laughs> like, of the uh, of the, the light display. So we introduced a new feature on the website, roosterteeth.com, this week, and I wanted to test it out. We introduced uh, questions. So yep. it's like where people can post a question. You can go through, select the questions you want to answer, kind of like an ongoing AMA. I've done about 10 or so probably. It really helps Very if nice. you tell people when you're going to do it and then stop. Like we need a way to start and stop it, but we're still figuring out the feature. So I was trying that, and I had to reveal something that I don't think I've ever talked about on the podcast before, but I feel like people should know, and I've been trying to figure out a way to bring it up. I've said before, I don't eat home-baked stuff. When people bring it to us at conventions, like if they hand me a plate of home-baked cookies, I'm like, this is very nice of you, thank you, but then I don't eat it. Like, it just like, I just don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I appreciate everybody in the effort they go through, but I'm just not going to eat random food that someone, like if they walked up and handed me a sandwich, I wouldn't eat the sandwich, you know yeah. what I mean? you'd be appreciative of the sandwich as an act, as a gesture. Right. Yeah. But you wouldn't want to put the that's sandwich like in your body. But like, send a, like a box of Girl Scout cookies? Sure. You know, something like that. Something that's packaged and I can open or whatever. That's just, maybe I'm weird that way. But the other thing like that is, and Gus, I don't know if you're the same way, uh, people all the time want to, maybe me in particular, they want to share work with me, like, because they're, they're looking for a job or something. So they hand me USB drives. I will never, ever plug a USB drive into my computer that I don't know where it came from. Because well, it might have, like, virus or I don't monitoring know. Yeah. software and stuff. I literally don't know. I just have too much sensitive information on my computer. I just wouldn't plug a, a, a USB drive in it. So I'm always thankful, but then I ask them to send me a link to somewhere online. So you don't have to waste a USB drive is what I'm getting at. Um, you can just <laughs> put it online and send me a link. 
I'd be, I get, I'll look at it that way. But you, I, you'll, you'll download all their monitoring software and viruses remotely. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. One guy kept calling me and asking, or writing me on Twitter asking for it back. He wanted me to send it back. And it's like, really? I'm just, okay. I didn't even know what happened. Send him 10 bucks. <laughs> Did you lose it? I got a skateboard one once and I gave it to Jeff. So. Like a skateboard. A little USB miniature there? skateboard. USB. You can put like your a tech deck thing? What's a tech deck? Like a fingerboard. Oh, yeah. It's exactly like that. But it was, you could pull one end off and it was USB drive. That's neat. It was okay. <laughs> I, I didn't change my life. I'm not a fan of like all those weird novelty USB drives. Like you always see like uh, dumb stupid. ones like yeah. dogs that look like they're humping your computer. Yeah. Or I do like the one that's a little mini fan though. That you plug in and it like actually gives you air. Is it a USB drive or is it just a USB fan? That's just a USB fan. Some of the, oh yeah, it might just be a fan. I might just be thinking of things. <laughs> like, if it doesn't have storage, USB. he's not interested. <laughs> We're talking about <laughs> storage devices, not about fans. No. I got a real I got a real stupid problem at home which is making me I'm very impatient now with things, and it's like <clears throat> I will give up on stuff very, Why? very quickly. Why is this? I don't know. I just have, I've had my fill. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just about done with my iPhone. I'm just like, I just, it just frustrates me on a daily basis, and I'm just like, I can't be bothered. Well, I met you at the airport the other day. Was it in the morning? Yeah. I feel like it was, and you were already at 29% mm -hmm. on your phone. Yeah. I'm just, my phone's probably now at like, probably like 30%. I've already charged it once today. Do you have the little the hump? Charger case? No, he does though. I do. Gus does. I, I, and this this thing pissed me off this weekend. And that's on a plus. That thing is mostly battery. It, uh, it was in my pocket. It was in like a jacket pocket I had, my leather jacket. That pissed me and off. And I pulled it out. And as I pulled it out, it rubbed up against like one of the buttons, and it tore out huge chunks of the case. Oh, oh no! Fuck. God, like a massive like, in it. It just touched a button essentially, and it fucking ripped out this giant chunk in the side. So how does this? I, <laughs> and that was a hundred dollars. Yeah, it's a hundred dollars, and it's that sucks apart. because it's a battery case. Because I pulled it out of my out of my fucking pocket. Thanks, Apple. The problem I have now, though, and this is this is probably the most first world problem of all time. Can hey, I Blaine. Hey, go, Blaine. Yeah. Come on in. Come here, here, boy. Hi, Blaine. Hey. How you doing? Hi, Blaine. Hi. Spent some time with you this week. Yeah, we did. Bye, Blaine. Bye. What is that? What, what, what was that? <laughs> Wink. Spent some time with you. Yeah, you oh. did. What's what? what's your biggest oh. your biggest problem? So my. I moved into a new place in the summer of last year, and um, Gus, it's probably easier if you hand it up from that direction. Uh, and uh, the way in the living room, the way the TV is set up, it's really very cool, is that it's like flush with the wall, okay? The TV is so in the wall? It's in the wall. It's flush with it. It's really, it's really cool. Like it's cut out and then... Almost like that, yeah. It's like... <laughs> Almost. Well, yeah. And there was no noise when I walked in or anything like that. But also then... There's like a part of that like wall setup. It's like a wood wall and there's like a wood thing where you put all the components in it. But then it's like hidden behind that like wooden paneling. Mm -hmm. That wooden paneling apparently is more than enough to block an Xbox One controller signal. Really? It's so fucking aggravating. It is so unbelievably aggravating. It's like unless you've got a direct line of sight between the controller and the Xbox, it's just like – and it works like – 99% of the time, but I was playing Just Cause 3 last night, it must have disconnected once every four minutes. And just disconnects and blinks and then goes, reconnect your controller, hit A. And it's That's like, unplayable. Yeah, it's, yeah, it was basically enough to just like constantly be annoying, so I just put my controller down and just walked away. It's like, and, <laughs> and but that that's game like, of Just Cause is still running to this it day. Is, it is, and Rico still never brought freedom <laughs> to the island. But uh, it's been like that for like six months, and it's just like, I've even like run a cord through the wall and out, so now I can plug in USB there, but I'm just like, this sucks. <laughs> it just sucks. That's and it's like, there's all this stuff about like the whole, supposedly the Kinect can also act as a controller sensor, but that doesn't work. So the Kinect's right there at the bottom of the TV. Well, it's an infrared sensor, though. What does that mean? <laughs> Sorry, I have to say it once <laughs> for podcast. For the, uh, for the remote. Yeah, I can't believe that, that piece of wood blocks the RF signal from the, it, you'd the wanna, controller. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Why is the controller Bluetooth? It's horrible. I don't know. I don't think it's Bluetooth. It might be a combination of where the Xbox sits. It's actually behind the TV, so it's going through the TV to get to the Xbox. Hmm. And it's like, I think that might be it. I don't, I, I don't know, but it does it constantly. <laughs> it drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. And it's, like, it's a problem nobody's going to care about, and they shouldn't care about. But I'm just like, well, people, I, don't, I don't play Xbox because of it. People may have solutions. You know what? I'll oh, God, I would love it. If there was a way to like boost the signal of the Xbox controller... I would be so happy. Or like some Why kind of signal put, repeater. Or just like a, like a USB thing that can bring down and put at the base of the TV. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Signal repeater. There you go. Why don't you just put the Xbox in the room? Or like on your lap or something? You got, on like my lap. On the table or something. <laughs> That's literally what I'd have to do. I'd have to put it in my lap. That's what I would have Playing to do. Xbox well, what's stopping Why you from set it on the floor? What's stopping you from moving the entire Xbox somewhere really close and then cabling long? 
They just have a cable on the floor. Like, I'm right literally, the river. Gavin, I'm, the distance between me and the TV is me to you. And the Xbox is on the other side of it. That's, that's, that's the distance. There's nowhere closer in the room. In, closer would be in the room on the floor. Or that on would the wall. A what? Or on the wall. You, you, gotta see, you gotta see it. It doesn't make any sense. What you're saying is like you're talking you like a crazy. Picture? Talking like a crazy person. Talking like a crazy person. Ashley knows what I'm talking about. Do you have a picture? She'll back me up. Right. Yeah, the PS4 there we go. Controller work? What? Do you have a PS4 as well? I do. Does that, does that work through the thing? I haven't plugged it in. Yeah, I don't know. I, just, I never play PS4. I want to play. I don't play any video games. I'm playing Just Cause 3 for God's sake. That game's like eight months old at this point. Can you, for the love of God, get another pancake going? Oh, what do you need? <laughs> oh, just, just the same, like chocolate you're, chip. You're also playing on Xbox One instead of PC. Just Cause, just Cause 3? Yeah. yeah I, I would totally... I, I'm playing on PC. It's so good. Yeah. I, no, no, no. I watched Jeremy. I think there's tons of frame rate issues on console versions. Jeremy was getting, sometimes it was less than one frame a second. Yeah. It was like a slideshow. I'm not, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't had any problems with Have that. Have they patched it? I don't like, know. I, I, game I, is a dream come true. I watched Jeremy play it also. It looked, it looked unplayable. Uh, you, know what, you know what was looked unplayable? I was watching uh, JD play XCOM 2. And the frame rate on XCOM 2 was shitty. I'm like, how really? is a turn-based <laughs> game? I see people complain, complaining about that, and I've seen videos about that, but I have not had any frame rate issues. Yeah, we did that game, didn't you? We did a Let's Play. Yeah, I, I, I found myself, I had to be really careful. I, uh, I started playing XCOM 2. I finished The Witness. Like, my goal was to finish The Witness, that way I could start playing XCOM 2. I finished The Witness this weekend. Chocolate chips? And, you uh, finished The Witness? Congratulations. Chocolate and chips. then You're a smart man. I immediately started playing XCOM 2. And I found myself sitting on the floor again. No, God, why and you I was do like, it? I, I did it for like ten minutes. I was like, wait, stop, stop. I was like, why would you even start? I know on the floor? The, I know what the end result of this is. Is it just your is. eyesight is too bad to be on the couch? It's just, it's easy, it's convenient. It's on the floor. You know what else is convenient? Your couch. Hey, let's have some. Uh, let's some Design crumbs. for sitting. You want crumbs? Some of those crumbs. Yeah. You got. So you uh, uh, luckily, I corrected it, and uh, the witness is fun. It's fun until you solve a puzzle, and then you're like, oh, that was a guess. How did I do that? And then you have to figure out. That sucks. The mechanic. That happened to me one this? time, and I was like, I'm fucked. I'm never going to figure that out. Well, you can go and do them again, typically. You can just keep doing yeah. them and, like, trying to learn. But, but I, had, I had to figure out what it was, yeah. So that's what I ended up I'm up doing. in some sort of uh, tree house oh, first burn. at the moment. That where sucks. you got to, like, do the shapes. God. The shapes that are... The ones where you got to plan all the shapes in your head and then draw a line that, like, contains all of them with landing on the symbols. I hate that. So you fun. sound so like two people in an insane asylum having a conversation right now. Have you not played The Witness? Like, everything you said made no sense, and Gus going, uh-huh, uh-huh, Yeah, uh -huh. I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> I gave him a location and the, the puzzle. How far along are you in that game? Well, you know when the shapes are in your I've head? I've only lit up, like, two beams into the middle. Hmm. How many is it? Six? <laughs> Do you really want to know? Oh, is it not six? I'm just happy it's I finally six. won a, G a Gavin conversation, Gus, where we try to get Gavin to explain something. There's been a lot of compilations of me saying, what, is, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. When I said the podcast. I used to say, go on. But now I say, what does that mean? That's my way of making sure someone continues to what talk. What does that mean? Which 50% of the time makes sense. But sometimes you say, what does that mean? On a sentence like, my favorite color is green. What does that mean? <laughs> so, you see the compilation video? I just want you to talk more. That's all it is. I just want you to keep talking because I want to hear the full explanation of what you're going to say. You saw that compilation video? I did. And it was, it was you relentless. You a lot. It was relentless. A lot. So, oh. <laughs> so usually when I do that, what happens is, and this is like Shrove Tuesday, or Podcast Pancake Tuesday, is... We will think Gavin's talking out his ass and doesn't know what he's talking about. So we make him explain it more. And then probably 95% of the time, Gavin is right. He just can't explain it. I don't know about that. I think we just, like... I can't. I explain Shrove I Tuesday. Mean, I said this is the day before time. Ash Wednesday. What? He's good at explaining shit, for the most part. <laughs> I but think everyone's Gavin bad at Gavin try to explain the British school system was... <laughs> that's been my favorite. Like, because people have been doing all sorts of videos based on that, I have been laughing so hard My favorite this. part was when Patrick, pull, or whoever was in there, pulled up that graphic of everything that I just talked about, and it was all the exact same stuff I just said. Still it was unreadable garbage! <laughs> I believe you. Yeah, your school, your school is unnecessarily complicated. On, what, how much time we got here? How are we, how are we looking? Uh, another 40 minutes or so? We're looking good, baby. Well, yeah, this is more pa small pancake. Is anybody, are, are you making that for someone already? I was going to Gavo, but I will make a pancake for anybody who wants one. I'll take one. All control, right, there we go. Control room. Uh, the first pancake pancakes. podcast we ever did, Gavin dared me to fit a whole pancake inside my mouth. Was that the that was the first? Yeah, that, that was, was the first, first one. one. Yeah. No, so I, I threw one at Gavin. Should, uh, trying sounds to like you want to do an eating challenge right now. I think right both now. of us should try to do that. Hey, can somebody else check Twitter for RT uh, hashtag RT podcast? I cannot do it. I'll check. I'm, I'm going to read this. You can you check it while I do that? Um, yeah, let me read this. Want to remind everyone: this episode of the podcast is also brought to you by Sherry's Berries. 
Valentine's Day is just a couple days away. Calm down, we don't have any with us. Valentine's Day is just a couple days away. There's only one sure way to win Valentine's Day this year, and that's to win her heart all over again. You have to show some heart to win, and Sherry's Berries knows exactly how. Make sure to get this year right with romantic, fresh, and juicy berries from Sherry's Berries. Giant, freshly dipped strawberry from... No, 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 we gotta do it upside down. Giant, freshly dipped straw... <laughs> freshly dipped strawberries from Sherry's Berries starting at $19.99. Over a 40% savings. For our listeners, you can double the berries for just $10. Go to berries.com, click on the microphone in the top right corner, and type in code TEETH. These strawberries are picked at the peak of freshness to ensure the best gift experience. Dipped in white, milk, and dark chocolatey goodness. Delivery is always guaranteed, even on Sunday. Here's the only way to get this amazing Valentine's Day deal. I don't know, that's crazy. I think ProFlowers also uh, does that. But uh, here's the only way to get this amazing Valentine's Day deal. Giant, juicy, freshly dipped strawberries starting at $19.99. Or double the berries for $10 more. Visit B-E-R-R-I-E-S dot com. Click on the microphone in the top right corner and type in TEETH. Go to berries.com, click on the microphone, enter code TEETH. You must order today. Time is running out. Now here, you want some whipped cream on that? Oh, that was on your face! <laughs> God! Oh, that was in his mouth! No, no, that wasn't. That was in my hand. Oh. <laughs> While you were doing that read, Bernie kept whispering, Giant juicy. Giant juicy. <laughs> So good. It's really creeping so good. me out, man. I gotta, I gotta clean up here. <laughs> I should really like all of our sponsors equally, but I like Sherry's Berries. Do you like the food? I yeah. like Sherry's Berries when they provide berries. <laughs> Not oh. when you don't get a free berry. We had some last week. Well, this week we got we got pancakes to to tie us That's over. True. Yeah, I think that they're on. Uh, they knew it was Pancake Tuesday. They didn't want to mess with you. Someone says, "Stop saying Xbox. Mine keeps hearing you." Oh, sorry. Uh, your Xbox keeps hearing us. Your Xbox. Turn on Xbox. Turn off. Yes. Xbox, yes. Oh, that's the worst. They're gone now. All those we, our views just dropped significantly. <laughs> we should we should look at the metrics and see <laughs> how <laughs> many viewers we lost at that exact moment. So I've had this thing now where anytime in a let's play someone says, "Are you serious?" Siri starts thinking that we're talking to it. Oh, really? And then it would start transcribing like the next minute of let's play. Well, that's why that's why your battery's going down because you have Hey Siri turned on as well. Does well, that drain it? Oh, God, yeah, because it's listening to the, the thing microphone. that's constantly listening and using the phone, yeah, that drains your battery. Isn't it doing that anyway? Whoop. Shocking. No. What's wrong with you people? The NSA. Oh, well, they can turn that on. There was that story we talked about years ago. It was like 2001, I think, and, and when, before people even gave a shit about privacy. Right. Look, and there, I, I know before, exactly the story you're going to Before about. smartphones even existed, I think, it was still like shitty flip phones. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the federal government was working on uh, no, a they case had it was in a case that they used it on, against some mob guys. Yeah, they were they were uh, pursuing a case against uh, the mafia, and the you know mobsters would go into meetings and turn their phones off, and the federal government could still remotely activate the microphone on their phones even though the phones were off and in their pockets. And you have a problem with that? That's crazy. That that, that that's possible. You want? I was just thinking about this the other day. Pretty much everywhere you go at this point in time, everyone is outnumbered. By cameras mm -hmm. everywhere you are at all points in time there are more cameras than people everywhere you go like us sitting here there's one two three four five cameras that's weird because it's a studio uh -huh. but we each also have two cameras on us two yeah yeah uh, imagine a the front most... and a back camera on your phone oh. if you added up all the cameras in the world and what they're looking at the inside of pockets is probably like the top subject it for probably what is, is currently being filmed right now by cameras or in a bathroom do you ever think about that when you're like looking at your phone that it's looking back at you all the time? Well, like, you really, you think about that a oh, lot. I, I look at that fucking camera all the time. We yeah. got a, we got a buddy of ours who he has like stickers over his laptop cameras and he has one over his front facing camera of his phone. He has yeah. a little sticker there. That's it. I don't I don't, I don't blame him. That's yeah. What That's do you use much. to wank to? Uh oh, you mean just like what do I use? Like what device do I use? Yeah. I guess I use a phone. So it's looking right at you when use, you're looking at it. I yeah. use my hand. What's yeah? Here's Someone my phone. makes a compilation of all the photos of people's jerk off. Well, faces. I go to my doctor and get a prostate exam, and then <laughs> chances are, if you're looking at porn and you're rubbing one out, go ahead. It probably has the the worst angle of you. Yeah, that's probably the least flattering angle of you. I never, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It'd be funny and if then you like, purposely like, pointed at your dick <laughs> while you're doing it, just in case. And you're probably grunting and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> once, you, once you work through this fantasy the rest of the way, Gavin, why don't we hear the whole fucking thing out <laughs> with you? Hey, uh, who am I making pancakes for? And Nick, Nick, what do you want yours? Uh, chocolate chips, peanut butter, and 
Joe, well, look thank at you. Oh. Thank you. That's exactly what I had. I'm, I'm putting the banana in this one. Or do you want a banana on top afterwards? Yeah. Thank you, KDM Castle and Brittany O on Twitter for letting yeah. me know I still had whipped cream in my eyebrows. <laughs> 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 I, managed to, I managed to clean it out. Your hairdress is going to be trimming. I'm like, what's this crap still there? It's funny. Gavin did that to me right before the podcast started. I now taste like spoiled milk. You, so, t- you taste like spoiled milk? I smell, like, I smell like spoiled milk all over my mouth because you put it Gross. all in my face. <laughs> do, you, do you ever... Nope. <laughs> all right, never Good mind answer, then. Barb. Never mind. Good then. answer. Do you ever wonder, like, do you ever smell something bad and wonder if it's a smell that you're actually smelling or a smell that's in your nose? I think this is... No, I, that, never, sounds like not so, that sounds like a problem you would have. It's a, it's a problem I have, and I have think it's sneezes. because of my stinky sneezes. Yep. And I think the stink sometimes gets stuck I in my sneeze. I still don't understand stinky sneezes. The what, stink gets stuck in my what nostril. What is that? And Dude, then I, I, I smell it. What is that? I had a stinky sneeze no. one day. Gus, what one day, I was so fucking scared. I thought I had gotten it, like, and it was going to follow me around. Do you think it's like lung dust? Don't know. I had been, <laughs> I had been uh, sneezing what? a lot that day from like, whoop, ow. <laughs> Ouch. From like allergies and stuff, but uh, no, nah, I don't know. I got worried. I got worried. Oh, how was it? What these, did it smell like? These pre-cut bananas are, you know what it was? It was just kind of smelled like bad breath is what it smelled like. Mm. Maybe it was just bad breath. Maybe it was just bad breath. Because when you sneeze, you're, you also spit out your mouth. You also breathe out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced. Mine, mine does not smell like bad breath. I, I feel like it smells like a bloated animal. No problem. Yeah, it, it right, smells like a dead animal. But I feel like recently I really haven't been having stinky sneezes. It's been a while since it's been like Didn't a, a your wife get them problem. though? My wife did get them, yeah. She got them from you. Mm-hmm. You're, you're patient zero. I don't understand what it is though. Nick, it's just You know what a sneeze is, right? Oh, yeah. Never mind. You know what a bad smell is? You put the two together. But how does it happen? Like how, what, what causes it? I don't know. Some, some we, we tried to figure this out one time, Babs. Something couldn't. died in my sinuses and took think years to come the out. the inside of your nose smells bad to other people? <laughs> yes. I do. I think it would. I think you're used to, like, you don't smell your own lungs and nasal That's passages. That's what I was thinking. Like, if I went upside down. So if we had, like, we, 69 noses. Yeah, we docked, <laughs> we docked our nostrils. And you breathed out, and I breathed in. You want, you want to do it? <laughs> it's like that so, scene in Spider-Man. Do Honestly, <laughs> I don't think my nostrils are compatible with that, anyone here. <laughs> oh, God. Let's do it. Well, I, I got a big nose, too. If you had yeah. to choose one person's nose that Rishi to smell, who would you choose? Gavin. Ashley's. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. I did this, she said, well, whose nose would I want to smell, Ashley? And I said, yours. You probably already have. What? She said, ew. He has to. Would you prefer I smell somebody else's nose? Yes. Okay, she said yes. Why, who would you Who would you smell if you had to smell one nose at Rooster Teeth? That was really dexterous what you just did. You just threw a, pa- a plate up on top of that uh, paper oh. towel roll. <laughs> All right, Nick, here's your pancake. Whose nose? Oh, and you can't say Meg. I can't say Meg. Because um, she's fired. She's not fired. Bubs. Babs. I got. I got. Okay That's a good one. You you your nose is really tiny, so there probably wouldn't be as much surface area. <laughs> not as much inside. When you say a nose, I would smell Gus's. I, so I, I wait, weird thing. Smells. We saw a video the other day where you and I kissed, and neither one of us remember doing that. Do you remember that? Yeah. Like, we. I. I, I forget when, I forget like when it came up. Remember. I forget how it came up. Like I said, I never had kissed anybody at Rooster Teeth. The guys at Rooster Teeth. And they said, you kissed Gus. And I was like, I didn't kiss Gus. And somebody sent me a video of on me the kissing mouth? Gus. Yeah, it was at a panel. It was at a panel when he introduced me. I came walking out and I just kissed him on the lips. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I was shocked to see that. I have no recollection of kissing. Didn't you kiss Carrie as well? I did. I kissed Carrie by accident, though. I was trying to fake a kiss <laughs> when he was doing the first season Ruby live stream. Uh-huh. And I walked out and I covered his mouth and went to kiss my hand. But then I moved my hand and I like kissed him square in the mouth. Yo, you, the body does what the heart wants, Bernie. Yep. Apparently the heart wanted to kiss a dude who tasted like hot dogs. Yeah. That's what I, did. <laughs> I like uh, to think that Gus writes about that moment in his journal every night. There was a moment it where so it's a plain pancake for whoever wants a plain pancake. Back at the days when we were at the, the studio ready? on Congress. You ready? Here he yeah. comes. Ready? Super hot. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's hot. <laughs> oh, I almost got it. I almost got it. Back at the days when we were at the studio on Congress, Jeff and I did an interview with CNN. And we sat <laughs> on a couch next to each other, uh, and it was a real tight couch, and we were just, you know, real small couch. We were sitting real b- bunched up next to each other. And at the very end of the interview, we turned and looked at each other and just started kissing and making out. <laughs> but they cut, like, right at that moment. Like, right when we turned and looked at each other, it's just like, and the interview's over. You went, like, full into yeah, it? Yeah, we went full into it. Oh. Yeah. They, they cut away. I didn't know that. Yeah, because- No, they, you actually they, did kiss romantic. him, though. Oh, yeah. Tongue? Oh, yeah. Oh. They, 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 cut, it, they cut it out. Mm-mm. Yeah. I made out. 
I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Gus. You're like a huge germaphobe. Yeah, but it's only Jeff. I've got Hep C also. It's only Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> would you pay yep. if you could to eight hundred dollars an hour? <laughs> would you watch people that you know bang? No. Well, let me I think. I feel like it's like <laughs> I was going to initially say no. Could you choose? What do you have to trade? Yeah. Would somebody else have to watch me? Like I have to pa- yeah. pass off tape of me? But like, for, for example, how about this? I feel like we talked about this before. How about this? Okay. Would you pay to watch, so, okay, say, like Jack and Katie? That's fu- how much? Like I'm, I'm thinking, like I'm in my head, I'm like because it's it would be interesting. I would pay like s- at least ten bucks. It really doesn't even have anything to do with the person. Does a barb? It just has to do with like. It's just, it, it could be anybody. Just I'm if just, you know them, you're like, right. I think Gavin's just curious how those two would do it. No, not them specifically. It's just like, you know, I'll see just Jack's, pick, uh, just see Jack's people. style. See if Kate enjoys it, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Do you think it's just the intrigue of people you know? Fuck I think if you I were offered, I think if you were offered anybody, you might think about it for sure. Your gut level's like, no, but then you're like, well, like, they, they, no one's gonna know. How much for Gus and Esther? You could literally, on, on your TV, you could just buy it. And it would just deduct from your account. Eight ninety nine. I would Would want it show up on that. my bill? No. Like a hotel. You watch it unlimited for twenty four hours. <laughs> I feel like that would scar me. Gus and you would watch it, right? No. You would just you would see that on your TV. You'd be like, I've got like. So how much would you pay to not see it then? At least twenty dollars. Let me you tell would, you. <laughs> you would watch it. No, I wouldn't. Why? Not Gus and Esther. Why? Well, I've seen Gus. Well, Gus was my boss for a while. I've seen so Gus's junk, like, so that's basically do I want to like pay to see Esther? And I, I feel like that would be rude. To do that, yeah, when you know someone on, on that, probably didn't see my junk in a good light. What if it was like professional? We went measured it in the uh, in the bathroom after yeah, that one podcast. Bad lighting, <laughs> bad light, fluorescent lighting. So okay, so you've got on your TV, Barbara, <laughs> and Aaron, right? It's, Barbara it's and Aaron. eight ninety nine. Add to car or not? Aaron Zetch. Yeah, sure. Why not? Bumblebee. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I pay you ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Yeah. I, don't, I, I think I probably would with anybody. Honestly, yeah, I, that's what I'm I, I honestly would with anybody. Listen, I feel like if it's a, a totally guy. normal thing. That's what, exactly what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, like, if you're at home, audience, and you just have, like, two friends in your head, you would watch it for, for a tenner, right? <laughs> a tenner. <laughs> Ten bucks. Do you think that we're going to reach a point where, like, since everyone has cell phones, that that's going to happen? That everyone's cell phone is secretly recording video all the time? Also, is this us, like, slowly testing the water in case any of us put out a sex tape and want to sell it to the Rooster Teeth fans? Are you doing, like, some, some yeah, kind don't of marketing? Yeah, the price so low, yeah. you know. At 20 bucks. $19.99. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, pr- I'd watch pretty much anyone. Why? Why not? Really, why not? Like, if it's there, why not? Like, even people who you don't find attractive? Absolutely, yeah. Just, like, how it works with them? <laughs> how other people have sex? Yeah. Did you hear that weird story about Yarmir Yager? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yarmir yeah. Yager. Yeah, he's the, uh, was he, like, 45 now? He's, like, he's played, just, yeah, he play for the Penguins? 40s. I, don't, I don't know who he plays with. I believe so. Hockey guy. Anyway, he ended up sleeping with this uh, 18-year-old uh, Czech Republic model. And she then took a photo of the two of them in bed together. Like, she took a selfie next to him sleeping with her. Like, literally sleeping in the bed. And then she threatened, I forget to how much. Him, yes. She blackmailed him. I forget how much money it was. It was like 2000 bucks, I think. It was like, or she would post the photo online. And he goes, I don't give a shit. Post whatever you want. So she posts the photo. I don't know why she went through with it. And then it turns out she's the girlfriend of like another hockey team's defensive captain. Yeah, she was and, cheating and on like, someone. Yeah, what, and, what an and, idiot. And Jager is her boyfriend's idol. Like it's the guy that he looks up to. What? That is <laughs> fucked what? up. Isn't that fucked up? Yeah, yeah, she's messed up. I think she was trying to blackmail him. Or something. Yeah, but then that's over once you don't get the money. Yeah. So then she posts the photo like a dipshit. She's an idiot. And, ruin, and then ruins her whole life. Re- she blackmailed herself. That reminds me of uh, another story that I read on uh, on Reddit a couple of weeks ago. Where this guy says that he was on some dating site. He didn't say what it was. It was in the Today I Fucked Up subreddit. He said, you know, he was on some dating site. And that one day, like, some girl contacted him. And they were, like, chatting. Then she was like, oh, do you have Skype? Let's get on Skype. And they started chatting on Skype. And then she was like, I guess, like being really, you know, really seductive, like trying to lure him into having, into getting undressed and like having Skype sex with her. Mm-hmm. So he said, yeah, you know, he, he did it. You know, he got undressed and she was getting undressed and everything. And that just like partway through all of a sudden, she just like ran up to the computer and stopped it and ended the call. He's like, well, that's weird. And then she started messaging him that was like, send me all the money you have right now. I've been, re- I recorded everything. I know who you are. And I'm going to post all of this on your wall on Facebook and all, on all your social media. That so he's, 
fucked up. So he said that he uh, deactivated his, his Facebook account. He deactivated all the social media, you know, didn't pay them. It was like, maybe they'll just go away. Like you said, maybe they won't go through with the threat. Right. They started up a Facebook account with his name, sent friend requests to all of his friends, and they made all of the profile pictures, like screenshots from... Uh, from that recording. Oh, wow. Full. That's fucking crazy, man. That is really fucked up. That's so wrong how much people. money did they ask for? Uh, I don't remember. It was, like a, it was a couple thousand dollars or so something. I can make a couple thousand dollars doing this. Is <laughs> okay. it luring dudes into uh, on camera sex? What would it take? What would it take for you to do that? I'm assuming nobody in this room does that. What gets the knob out on camera? Yeah, it gets the knob out on camera. Like you're a big I, I just did it in a fucking immersion. You're, but you're a big Skype guy, Gavin. You had a long distance relationship with point. Is there any point in time when you got on like camera? Well, naked? I never. No, I never did that. Never do that. I don't trust it to like not to stay secret. I don't trust that anyway. Mm -hmm. No way at all. I produced a uh, a version of the uh, like a script that we had from like five years ago, and it was like the C version of the script. So it was like the third draft of like what turned out to be like a six or seven draft script. And I was like, "Where the fuck did you get this?" Because every time something comes up, you or Gavin like pulls this magic archive out. It's like I just keep everything. It's like. Yeah. And stuff doesn't go away. It's like it's hard to. It's almost hard for me to get rid of stuff unless something like physically fails, like a drive fails. Even then, I still get it. When I first started in Nashley, I recovered all like eight years of photos for her. On she had a hard drive that went. I remember died. that. Remember that? I yeah. Think he said when I first started hitting Ashley. When I started hitting her. <laughs> it was, it was uh, the jumper, she, right? She recovered fast. I know. Hey! That's what I'm saying. He was hitting you. That was nice. Get on the sidecar for that one. <laughs> it was like that one burned out resistor. You just had to like cut it or solder it. Was it was overvolted. It was it's like apparently there's a capacitor on the controller board for a hard drive. And if you have too much voltage, which she was coming from Australia with the drive, it overvolted somehow. And uh, it blew. So instead of like burning out the hard drive with too much voltage, it just burns out that one so capacitor. It's like, a, it's like a fuse. Basically, it's like a fuse on the, on the, yeah. So you just had to clip it out, clip it off altogether. And you didn't have to resolder anything, just clip it out. Remove it entirely, and then it worked fine after that. So yeah, it, it goes from a dead hard drive to a working hard drive by just cutting... By removing something. Weird. And I still have those tools. I get, like, flush cut tools I had to buy to do it. Yeah, I remember you came to me with it, and you were asking, you like, you know, I'm looking for J15. Is this J15? I was like, yeah, it looks like it to me. Dude, I thought I was, like, super boyfriend. I was like, look what I did. I saved all your photos for you. Are you happy? She goes, oh, my God, this is so great. So I gave her a USB drive. She lost the USB drive. <laughs> That's true, right? <laughs> It's, it's somewhere. somewhere. I trust her. Could be in a landfill. <laughs> Anybody else pancake? Anybody? I saw. All right. I oh, saw we're behind now. I, I, see, I see three hands. I saw a stat I earlier. Someone uh, sent sent to me on uh, via social media that um, the Boeing seven eighty seven, the plane, mm -hmm. generates forty terabytes of data every hour. It's in the air. What? Why? Why? From like data? Like no? From like <laughs> that is a totally what does that mean moment? <laughs> what I gave him mean? the look. I was waiting for you to say it. I guess. To explain that, Gavin. Well, just from like measurements and stuff. I guess so. Yeah. And forty terabytes of data an hour. It's in the air. I feel like without any media, without like recording video, how is that possible? What, what, ma what makes me surely it's just GPS and like stats on the plane. I think it, it's everything like fuel consumption, pressure, yeah, but still, hydraulics. It's just text. I don't know. Maybe it's got pictures too. But think about like I flew a seven eighty seven from L A to Melbourne. It's like a fourteen hour flight. It's forty. Terabytes of data per hour. What is that? 400, 560 terabytes of data for one flight? I feel like that's not true. Anybody else want chocolate chips in there? I, I believe that before? came from Seagate's Twitter account. What do you want? Chocolate chip? Let's see if I can find it. Plain ass pancakes. So do they just offload footage when they offload the luggage? Hey. How does that work? But then it might be just like, you might be right. It might be an array of drives that they have to pull and they put like a fresh array in. That can't be right. I'm looking it up right now for verification. I Where's see it my, here. I put the hand sanitizer down. Okay. Yep, Seagate tweeted it. Uh, they have an article to go with it. A Boeing 787 ge generates 40 terabytes of data per hour in flight. Let me read the story. Bullshit. To get you further information. It's got a Tumblr account. <laughs> it's, just it's just taking selfies the whole way. Reblogging Tyler Oakley all day. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who, by the way, is in The Amazing Race? Season 28, along with Ashley and myself. And it starts... Starts Friday oh. at 8 o'clock, 7 central. Uh, unless you live in a country outside the U.S., in which I'm saying this just to make you mad. Because that's the way you'll react. <laughs> Good lord. Anytime we talk about now anything Legally. that's like U.S. or on TV or anything, it's just like, I might as well just be saying, hey, do you live in Australia or the U.K.? Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> I promise that's not our attitude, but that's the way people react. They react as though... 
that's what we were doing. I went on this like long explanation on Twitter as to why geo blocking even exists and how it's their fault. Well, it's not their, their fault, their but it's somebody in their country, country that bought the fucking rights and is not broadcasting it. Or they're probably not able to broadcast it for a certain amount of time because uh, whatever. But I'm, d- let me tell you something. Uh, big U.S. media companies like CBS, they would be more than happy to sell the rights to a show like The Amazing Race to you know overseas to foreign audiences. They'd be happy to sell those rights and then also broadcast it over the web to those same countries. But that would be a really shitty thing to do. And for obvious reasons, the people in your country that bought the rights tell them in the contract to not do that, so they have to block it. CBS is not choosing, or no media company is choosing to block your country out of some vendetta. It's because they're required to do it by the laws of your country. (laughs) (laughs) Should we talk about uh, YouTube Red as well? Less in there. we're talking about country stuff. Oh yeah, so YouTube Red, so February 10th, um, which is coming up. If you're listening to this podcast, it's today. I the, guess, yeah, public Wednesday. I just said if you're listening to this podcast. Wouldn't everyone who's hearing my voice be listening to the <laughs> podcast? If, you're, if it's Wednesday and the podcast come out to the public, it is today. Mm-hmm. Laser Team is on YouTube Red. And if you're listening here as a sponsor, it's uh, February 8th currently, and it'll be out in two days. That's so exciting. And Gus's birthday is coming up. My birthday is? is coming up February 22nd. Weeks. Yep. 21? What? Is that how old you be? No, fuck no. <laughs> Do oh. I, look, I, would, I would be the most decrepit 21-year-old <laughs> ever. I look like a piece of shit. How old are you turning? 38. Oh. So we had to do this thing where um, one of the hardest things to do with Laser Team was to orchestrate a theatrical run of the movie and also be able to offer it both digitally at about the same time and then give Blu-rays out to the people who backed the movie. That was tough. Basically, the way that would worked out is we just didn't get a theatrical run. Mm-hmm. So, but... We worked with theaters trying to like work that out. And so we worked it out such that uh, we could do uh, a day and date, which means the same day we could put a digital copy of the movie out there in the same weekend that we did our theatrical run. That's the way we worked it out. But then the tug screenings came up. And those were the week before the theatrical run. Those were special screenings. And the theaters don't care about that because those are also held in theaters. But we didn't have a way to like digitally offer the movie for download in the, at that time, because we set the specific date as to when we could do it. So we had to come up with this creative solution of allowing it to be streamed, but not downloaded, because that wasn't explicitly you know, forbidden in our agreements with them. So that was a way we got around it. And uh, that was really tough to navigate. I'm really, I'm really happy we were able to do that. Uh, chocolate Pancake. chip. Who had chocolate chip? Here, come on. Just can walk over here. No, you're not going to. This is Pancake Tuesday. All, no rules. People Pancake expect day. it. What's that shirt? Oh, that's ours. It's just that, really faded. That's a rooster t-shirt. Is it just completely faded? Yeah. Well, you can leave now, but <laughs> why don't we make it? <laughs> it looks cool, monochrome. If, if you want another one, uh, you just go buy it. The best part about that was the shooing hand motion, Patrick. I don't know if you saw this. You can get out. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, a berry. What was the other one? Strawberries and banana? Yes, All right, you got it. The, um, here, I'm going to load that up. And then we got plain oh. ass pancake. <laughs> <laughs> there is a very faint woohoo Woo. in the other room. Woohoo, here it comes. Well, he's plain ass pancake. How, how, how wild can All you All right, be? now what I want you to do is make a pancake. There you go. For the sole purpose of flipping it onto a plate over here. Sure, you got it. All right, let me uh, let me read this. Okay. This other ad. Uh, let's see. I want to remind everyone this episode of the podcast is also brought to you by Trunk Club. No matter what time of year it is, you got to make every second count, and that means looking your best. No more ratty jeans or oversized hoodies, and get the fuck away from me. It's time to upgrade your wardrobe and let Trunk Club handle all of the work for you. Trunk Club takes the hassle out of shopping by finding the best clothes for you and your style, and you'll look and feel amazing, and will always have the perfect clothes for the season. At trunkclub.com slash roosterteeth, you answer simple questions about your style, preferences, and size, and you're assigned an expert stylist. Your stylist will handpick clothes from the best premium ba- brands, just approve what you like, and send back what you don't like. And and just like that, a trunk arrives on your doorstep filled with handpicked clothes that are perfect for you. Try them on, keep what you like, and easily return what you don't in their prepaid trunk. <gasps> trunk Club is not a subscription service. You only pay for the clothes you keep from your trunk. No hidden charges, just g- great clothes. Uh, get started today and Trunk Club will style you for free, plus free shipping both ways. You only pay for the clothes you keep. To take advantage, go to trunkclub.com slash roosterteeth. That's trunkclub.com slash roosterteeth for a trunk filled with clothes that you'll love wearing. Well, we have to buy a new rug now. No, sorry. <gasps> Does Trunk Club I, I sell That's rugs? the only thing we've ever done this podcast shake, where I got, a, uh, I got a look of disappointment from Barbara. Just a solid like, <laughs> look like, what are you doing? You're a grown man. 
<laughs> got some. Got actually got some syrup on the uh, carpet. On the shag carpet. It oh, looks, oh, it looks oh, good. It's oh, not it's ready. It's not ready. Down the front of the set. Oh, sorry. Oh. Look at it go. This isn't a well. Time to get a new set. Look it up. We're working on it. It'll be soon. When is that, by the way? Uh, a couple of weeks. We're a couple of weeks out. What do we do with this set? Tear it down. Burn it. Oh, that's a good question. Bernie, burn it. Um, blow it up. What should we do with this? Blow it up. Maybe. Can we use it for a sex tape? Can you can you blow it up? Uh, Play slow -mo guys' video. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna be there. I've never been there when you shot a slow mo guys' video. Haven't you? Well, you were on a. We've done it on immersion before. Sh shot some it's not a slow mo guys' video. That's I've true. been there when we've shot slow mo. Yeah, <laughs> Patrick, I'm right. watching out for the lights on this story. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you should invite me there. All right, you can do it. You want to be we, in it? We, sure. We filmed that Space Invaders immersion in Australia, and yeah. I have a question. Go ahead. That nobody has been able to answer for me. Why did I have to be in my underwear? Because we assumed you would like that. <laughs> literally, like, literally, Gus, when it came up that you were going to play the mothership, I don't even know who was in the room, but I said, will you be naked? And like everybody just kind of nodded, like that was of course Gus will be naked. Yeah, I also spaceship. like how you had a beanie. Yeah, on. you because of the beanie, you look like a hobo who uh, nicked a bin lid and cut a hole in it and I started was, walking around. I was right, already there hold in Australia. Then I got a message from Chris Damaris that just said, <laughs> "I got a message from Chris Damaris that just said, what's your underwear situation like? Get some real, get some real good height on it. This situation, Hup! Hey! hey, successful pancake. Where did that syrup go? Uh, oh, someone took it. They took it's it to the, the uh, cream pancake. control room. They took the syrup? Does that mean I have to use no. that syrup? No, no, it's right here. It's right here. Oh. oh. Here it is. Got it. We're going. Any That's more pancakes? Pancake? 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 What do you want? Uh, I'll take one with peanut butter. Peanut butter? <laughs> peanut butter? <laughs> peanut butter chips. Just peanut butter, please. It's a big difference. What's that? Peanut butter and chocolate chips. I want banana and butter. No, banana and chocolate. Okay. Banana I bet now you wish we hired the, the people to come and get I totally do. <laughs> I gotta make another batch. Barbara's gonna shake it up. Shake it up. How about time? How much time we got? Eh, another fifteen minutes or so. Uh, so we, I can talk. About, I think it? I can talk about this. Um, mm -hmm. I have this this weird this project came about in a weird way where um, uh, how what can Wait, I say? Wait, wait. I'm gonna be a a dad a voice <laughs> in uh, a mobile video game. Yeah, really? that's really awesome, guys. I'm gonna be uh, I'm super proud of you. The voice of Hawkeye. In what? Marvel I'm Avengers slightly Academy, proud. slightly less proud than when you started talking about Hawkeye. this. Hawkeye, yeah. you're gonna play Hawkeye? Yeah, that's a weird. Uh, that's an odd voice match. Yeah, I can't really. I don't know if I see you as Hawkeye. I feel like you should be like a scientist maybe you'll who surprise me. created a superhero. Maybe. No, no, no. I'm totally a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm what we're totally saying is, Gus is not cool enough to be a superhero. A, a superhero. What's the, the, cool what the bravest thing you've ever done in your life? The bravest. I uh, I saved a, a woman who was drowning one time. Oh yeah. The, the weird, the word Hawkeye though, it sounds like what you're you gonna, drunk? you're about oh, to say something else that sounds dirty but isn't. Like when you say Hawkeye, it's it sounds like, like I, it I get to like, play Hawkeye. It sounds like it could be hot guy, uh, but you maybe know that's I, what would, it is. I would not be a hot guy. No, but I could be a Hawkeye. What's another word like that? Um, four candles. Four ca four candles. <laughs> Does that come up often? Well, what what do I mean? Also, why do you say it like that? Four candles. That sounds weird. Like it should be four candles. Like there should be more of a distinction between the words, not like running them together. Or oh. four candle. Oh, f I didn't. I thought you were saying four. I thought you said four candles. I thought you did too. That's the joke. It's that you don't know which one I'm saying. Oh, so oh. that's a great order. joke. <laughs> no, are you a writer? <laughs> that's fucking amazing. Uh, you not trust my shaking ability? It's comedy sketches. It I is like doing it from who? The two Ronnies. It's one of the most famous comedy sketches from the two Ronnies. You know the classic. Four candles. The two Ronnies. Great. What's Who two the Ronnies? fuck are the two Ronnies? <laughs> two Ronnies are the best. They're like comedy legends, Gus. Where? I assume the UK? Yeah, are they right. the guys who did Old Greg? I don't know what that is. You know it's what a, it's a comedy classic. Yeah, Old Greg. You never seen that the one? Five Ronnies. <laughs> you guys gotta know the Old Greg. You know Old Greg, don't you? No. Oh my god, what's wrong with what's you? Old is that Greg? the Mighty Boosh? Is that what? Yeah, yeah Mighty Boosh. God, go watch it. You'll fucking laugh your ass off. Go watch Old Greg. I have an idea for. And a then go watch Four make. Candles. Oh, I think. Hey, I think one of my favorite videos uh, that was ever online got taken away, and I haven't been able to find it. But the guy who made the videos has since come back. He should. Oh, I know. Can I guess? Go ahead. Is it Cross My Palm with Tuna? Yeah. Okay. The cat. The cat is a bad mystic. It's the talking cat. Yeah. Who's a very bad mystic. That video was taken off the internet, and I cannot find a copy of it anywhere. I can't find it. This, I've been looking for this. It's gone. Why are we talking about this? Why are we both thinking about this? Because he recently came back. I think he did a video with guinea pigs talking about pumpkin spice. 
Oh, right. Have you seen it? Yes. It's clearly that guy to me. It's like the style of it is clearly that guy. And he did the, uh, his most famous video is the dog that he teases about food. Eating the steak? Eating yeah, the steak. I don't think he ever went away. I think his channel has always existed. No, Just, I think that video disappeared. I think he stopped for a really long time. And also that video did go away. From what I understand, the woman uh, who owned the cat was upset by the way the cat was portrayed. That's not a joke, by the way. Wow. I, think, I heard that's actually what happened. There should be a website called Internet Hole where <laughs> it collects. Go ahead. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Bernie, yes, you're a ven you're a venture capitalist. Got it. You're about to fund a company called Internet Hole. I got money burning a hole in my pocket. The stock market's it down. I need to invest in something. Internet Go. Hole's the next big thing <laughs> in the Bay Area. What is Internet Hole? Sounds great. Well, all I know is you have to pay eight hundred dollars an hour, <laughs> and it's like <laughs> it's like Uber but for holes. You could bend a steel pole around it. Can you talk about that app you were telling me about? What's the app I was telling you about? By that guy that you sat next to on the plane. I don't think I can. I don't know if I can. It's interesting. A right? guy pitched an idea at me on a plane for an app that he had. I think it's been released, but I don't know if I'd be comfortable talking about it. Let me find out, and I'll, and I'll talk about All it right. next time. I would totally invest in that, by the way. Yeah, me too. I'd I, do I it. I would 100% invest in it. I would use it. I would do it. This was, this, was, this was crazy, like, app trip. Like, we learned about some other apps, too, that we, are just, like, crazy. Yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll, a different we'll, app we'll talk we about something talk else. About, okay. Actually, we, we actually want to save something. We want to save that for a reason. What's Internet Hole? What is Internet Hole? So, it'd be a wet, like what you've had, you've had a video that's gone, and you, you enter it into Internet Hole, and the internet <laughs> finds it, wherever it might be, on, like, a re-upload somewhere else. So, I and, won't go to find a video. I can't find it. So, I go to Internet Hole, and, and chances I slip are, my request into the Internet yeah, Hole. Yeah, and chances are someone has been like, what happened to this video? It's there on Internet Hole. <laughs> like, would you pay? Like, you're like, if anybody can probably Gavin, give me this video, I'll pay him twenty bucks. You know what that's called? That's called the internet. What you just <laughs> described, it's just the internet. You just search for something on Google, and up it comes. That's what that is. But what if you don't know what it is? Or like, what it's if called? Anybody? It's called Google. We well, just. Haven't you ever just looked up? I just looked up Reddit prostate drumstick. But I think he means like something exactly you can't find, like the bad mystic cat. Surely yeah. someone downloaded Some, it and I'm, has it on their hard That's why I'm bringing it up on the podcast. Yes. Somebody it. has the bad mystic cat. What is it? Cat is a bad mystic? Cat is a bad mystic. Cat is yeah. a bad mystic. That's the name of the video. Is it They're, good? Oh, it's so it funny. It was really funny. Yeah. yeah. It's just talking animal thing. People do the talking animal thing. I thought of it because your lovely girlfriend, Meg, tweeted about... She's uh, obsessed with it. The cat talking. Yeah. D d that guy's bottom of the barrel. She shouldn't even, she shouldn't even be watching that. <laughs> I, I can hook her up with some really sweet animal talking videos. Well, is it the same guy as the one with the dog where it was like one of the treat? That's the guy we're talking about. That's yeah. the guy who made the cat mystic video. And that's the guy oh, who made yeah, the guinea that pig. That guy was huge. Yeah, it was a huge. huge channel. Yeah. And yeah. it just went away. I think even Cat was a bad mystic. It had millions of views. And yeah. then just one day it was, it was the channel was like it was gone. Cat Yeah, cat cat or something like that. Catube. With a K. Yeah. Yeah. I just I, made I a couple plain pancakes. I fucked this up. <laughs> uh, well, uh I heard someone wanted chocolate chip. You didn't do that. So. Here, give me the chocolate chips. <laughs> Imagine if you were on Celebrity Master Chef. Look, or something. I'm a professional. I can get this all fixed. There we go. Jam it in, and we'll fix this. Good. The peanut butter ones. There we go. I heard Ashley ask, uh, jokingly, I think, for butterscotch. Do we really have butterscotch? No, chips? she did ask oh, for okay. butterscotch, but I don't know where that came from. No, just banana chocolate. We'll be fine. Banana chocolate. We'll no one fine. gets hurt. Are you putting pancake? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gonna reseal it? Mm -hmm. It's a revolutionary technique I've never seen before. So this is the double. double this is the double pancake. Well, there always has to be an experimental one. Top. Oh, sweet! You don't know. You're living large now. Oop! Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Yoink! Oh, look at that. Oh, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. You're gonna I was like getting that. that one looked out. So we were talking before about how a stack of four pancakes isn't good. Because the hey, top. put some chocolate chips on that and some. Uh, you have the chocolate chips. I, no, no, the, we're out of them. We need a bag. Oh, there's the extra chocolate chips. Put some chocolate chips in. Uh, babe, what else did you want? Strawberries? Bananas. Bananas, sorry. Bib. Bib. What'd hey, you want, babe? babe? What'd you say? Were we talking about something? So, like, the top pancake on a stack will take up all the syrup and yeah. slurp that stuff up. So, what you need is some device. It's the alpha Like pancake. a tube shaped device that cuts a hole down all four middle pancakes, right? And then you pour syrup in the middle. Like, you have like a, a, a syrup like an pool apple core in the middle. Yeah. yeah. And it disperses. Equally. Ten bucks as yeah, just to finish that pancake. <laughs> We're not taking that. Put finish some banana it. on it. Put some banana, banana on it. Banana. Why, what did you <laughs> well, you have to do one thing this whole podcast. I like how he's complaining. One you're the, thing. You're the person closest to the bananas. It's what they asked for. Did you hear the incredulous in his voice when I asked him to do that? 
How you know what you should make, Bernie? What? Oh, come on. <laughs> Look at that. That's a good pancake. That will be great. You got so lucky. You should finish a pancake. <laughs> Fud. Start making another one. All right, ready? Here you crumble go. the other pancake. So this is a sam- sandwich cake. Cake sandwich. Hey, hey sweetie. She also wanted peanut Some, butter. I made, I made you the pancake and Gavin didn't help. Someone did a Google search for cat is a bad mystic and tweeted us saying, I assume it's one of these. If we could find it by <laughs> typing that into Google, we would have fucking found it. I never thought to go to Google. I never thought about that. Oh, we should search for it. And what was the last one? Peanut butter. Just peanut butter. Yeah. All right. Gavin. Some, ready? Peanut butter on that? Oh. Is that, put is that reduced fat peanut butter? butter? Is that reduced fat? No, it's simply. Oh, okay. I have an idea for a pancake. <laughs> I have an idea. Okay, go ahead. You have an idea for pancakes? Oh, oh, there's batter all over the couch. That looks disgusting. Oh, that's horrible. New set, right? New set coming e- our way. Eventually. A couple of weeks. Yeah. I hope you're going to listen to criticism on this one, Gus. What? I kept asking oh. you to make, get a, buy us a smaller, oh, <laughs> buy us a smaller couch. I, I have not. And you bought us a bigger couch. I have not seen the new set yet, but I hear it has a smaller couch. It does. Patrick it said it does. Patrick, I trust you. I've had it with him. He found this couch. No, this one's, we blame Patrick for this one, I think, as well. Well, Patrick learns from his mistakes. You don't. All right. Listen. Here, this I've gotten this far. <laughs> Just going to keep doing it. What? What do you want? Oh, pipe. Would you ever change? Would I ever change? Yeah. <laughs> would I ever change? Gus, would you ever change? <laughs> don't ever change, Gus. Nah. Yeah. I think Gus Why is mess with perfection? Is. Yeah. <laughs> Why mess with perfection? Is that yeah. your New Year's resolution? No. It's my lack of resolution. Exactly. It implies imperfection. All right. I'm checking Rishi's podcast. All right, so before we leave, don't forget, uh, this weekend is the last episode of Ruby Volume 3. It is. Of what has been our most monumental volume to date. It's been fucking nuts. I you guys ba- watched the last episode? I was just watching episode one of Volume 1. It's crazy how far that show has come. Yep. Not just in the way it looks, but like the tone and everything like that. This has been a crazy, crazy season. Mm-hmm. Don't want to spoil anything, but it's nuts. We're going to be Watch doing it. a... Um a live stream on Friday leading up to the um, the next episode of Ruby. So, good job to the animators. They yeah. did a great job. Yeah, great Woo! job, guys. Very good job. Oh, we're hoping to have... Um, now clap like Yang. <laughs> a bu- we're hoping to have a bunch of those guys out uh, on the live stream to talk about you know the work they've done. Look at these guns. The process behind it. So we're, Look at this. we're excited to have them out here. So that'll be on Friday. Boop, 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 boop. And then Friday what else afternoon. do we have going on? Uh, RTX uh, tickets are going on sale next week. Wait, say that again? RTX tickets are going on sale next week. Wow, there'll be some p- people that are very happy to hear that. February 16th, which is Tuesday. Also, sponsors get a 5% discount. Sponsors will get a 5% so discount. So sign up for your free trial of sponsorship. So RTX tickets go on sale. And what are the dates of RTX 2016? Uh, is it July 1st to 3rd, yep, I believe? And this is. is RTX in Austin. Going to be the best RTX ever. It's going to be off the hook, as the kids say. Off the chain. I don't think any kids say that. I think off all the, the kids that said that are now 40. It's going to be fly. <laughs> off the hook. It's going to be dope. I'm it's off the be hook. Dope, yo. It's going to be radical, dude. It's tubular. A, me and Beth. Word and to your mother. It's me and Beth. <laughs> dude, I got to say. What's happening? I got to say that I think the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie actually looks really fucking good. And I don't like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I like the, the old school graphic novel where they all wore the same color bandana and they were just violent as shit. I like that, but I gotta say, for the people who grew up watching the cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I think they're gonna f- love this movie. It's got like Rocksteady and Krang in it. What's that? Is it Krang? Am I saying it right? What one's the yeah. Rhino? Oh, it's more Rocksteady or Bebop. It's Bebop yeah. and Rocksteady, yeah. Yeah. But this has Krang. It's like in the trailer, they have Krang now. That, that's cool. I, I, I missed that trailer. I know they played it during the Super Bowl yesterday, but it was like one of those moments where I was refilling my drink or falling down drunk. You and know then about Friday, Tyler. I'll be on The Amazing Race with Ashley on CBS. That's so cool. The Friday at uh, 8 o'clock, 7 central. Did I was you, on a Super Bowl commercial. Did you get recognized a lot today? Because you got potentially seen by 100 million people yesterday. I don't think people remember I've been at, I've been commercials at work, like that. I've been at work all day. I so. recognize you. Thank you, Gavin. Gavin pointed out that I was seen by approximately 100 million people Plus, in one go. Probably more than that. That's just in the U.S. Do, what are you doing? I'm making a pancake pancake. Barbara is tearing up a pancake and putting it inside of a pancake. Some of those butterfly cakes. When we were in Australia... What is a butterfly cake? The cupcakes. Well, you slice off some of the cupcake, and then you cook it into itself, so the butterfly wings. Never heard of that. Never heard of that. Never heard of that. Nope. Well, I, maybe it's a butterfly cake. Google Sounds. It. It, you described this perfectly, because that's exactly what she's doing, except with pancakes. Except without it. wings. <laughs> when I went to... Or a cupcake. Australia, I saw there was a bar kind of close to our hotel I, I went and had a drink at. I bet you did. And they had a sign that was advertising that... 
they were going to be open for the Super Bowl, which was, it was weird seeing yeah, them say Super Bowl. Yeah, those were all over Sydney. And they said, doors open at 10. Doors open at 10 a.m. Kickoff at 10 a.m. It's like, how weird is it that they wait until kickoff time to open doors? I understand it's 10 a.m., but it's like, it's in, and it's also in another country, but it's weird to me that it's like, There's well, no the event time. starts at 10, so let's just open at 10. And uh, they don't wait to get people in there ahead of time. But I can't imagine there's many people in Australia who give a fuck about football. Although, they do call it Gridiron there, which I think is a much better name. Yeah. Why is that, why Makes is that it sound so name? much more badass. It, yeah, it sounds way cooler. Mm. And it, plus, it would eliminate the whole football soccer confusion that, uh, that happens in the United Footy. States. We should, we should rename Football Gridiron. Do you want to start the petition? <laughs> That's new shit. Not going to happen. Change the NFL to the NGL? I, I National bet you would have America not try lie. to change the name of football in other countries. <laughs> also, so... Go ahead. You seem upset. Why the fuck was this Super Bowl 5-0 and not Super Bowl L? Because people don't understand Roman numerals. They would not know what the hell was going on. They yeah. did 49 of them with Roman numerals. I, people yeah, would not Super understand Bowl just an L. looks like a misspelling. Yeah, it's it? funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, when I was well, like, no not- shit, when I was a kid, I was like 12 or 13, I thought, okay, this Super Bowl, it's a big deal. It's got Roman numerals. One day it's going to be Super Bowl L. I can't wait to see Super Bowl L. And then they fucking go with numbers. Yeah, they blew it for sure. They well, blew it. Haven't that, you noticed that they've kind of abandoned Roman numerals too in other things? <laughs> no, they haven't. They well, absolutely have. They're like, going back to Roman numerals next year for the Super Bowl. Like, was it L1? L- yeah. It'll Super be Bowl L-I. League. Super Bowl League. <laughs> so, Super Bowl Lithium. <laughs> <laughs> who, who wants a pancake pancake? But like, you remember you go see a movie, and at the end they would say copyright, and it had the, the well, year and Roman numerals, like MCM, mm-hmm. LXV, VYYY, v- y- or VIII. Y- 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 v- y- 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 you remember that? Where they do yeah, that, it had yeah. a big, long Roman numeral? When we got to 2000, it just became MM. You never see that. Like, ever since 2000, they were like, oh, that, now that looks stupid. So they just, I never see Roman numerals mm. for the year anymore, because it's now just lame. Well, what would I this was, year be? Would it be MMXVI? Yeah. Yeah. Look at you. That's a, let's, get, <laughs> let's get a little bit better. Let's get a little better. We're getting, a little, getting longer. Dude, I, I for the Amazing I Race, was... I had to study so much stuff. I went back and made sure that I knew my Roman numerals. <laughs> I did. It's a random thing to try. I and did. Like. I just, well, you never know. You're going to f- end up in some place and you have to fucking read Roman numerals because you're when in. When I was a kid, I grew up Roman with, place. with the football. Uh, where there's the World Cup every four years and then on the, the second every four years, it's like the Euros. So it's like Euro 96. Why do they call Euro- it the World Cup if the rest of the world doesn't get to play it? What, is, what? what? I'm sorry. That's what? a World Series joke. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Good, uh, good one. <laughs> so I, it was said, like Euro, I made you fuckers pancakes. There was like Euro 92, Euro 96, and I was really excited for the 2000s because I thought they would call it Euro 00. Pan cup. Yeah. And I was really annoyed when they just called it Euro 2000. Cupcake. It's, it's, so it's a cupcake. <laughs> cupcake, very good. Nice. <laughs> Birdie's killing it over there. <laughs> oh, man, I'm having a blast <laughs> over here. <laughs> Yeah, so, I got. I, got hey, really I missed the rest of Gavin's uh, stupid story. What was that? It so was. You it, got, wasn't, it, wasn't got worth a, it. it wasn't. A worth cup. It. You got a pancake. Pancake in a cup. It's a cup. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a topping that you could use on pancakes. It's a pancake. Pancake. There's something else going on that we're forgetting about. What are we forgetting about? Uh, Laser Team is still in theaters. Uh, YouTube Red. That was the other thing we talked about we it talked earlier. About YouTube Red. February 10th. Laser Team will be available on YouTube Red for everyone who has YouTube Red to see it. Talked about the live stream. Uh, we'll be posting some information about that today or tomorrow. How many of you are subscribed right here? Four of you guys. How many of you are subscribed to YouTube Red already? I am not. You're not a subscriber? No. Should totally do it. It's totally worth it. I might. Absolutely worth I, it. I could see myself coming around to it. What's the best feature? Download it offline. I would, it. Almo- I would almost offline. agree with you. I would almost agree with you that it's the best feature. This, the, uh, what is the best feature for me, though, is being able to close my phone or navigate away from the YouTube app, and it still continues to play That should not be a feature. That should be for everyone. That isn't a feature. But it's great for audio, though. But it, but it is a feature because it's on YouTube Red. I yeah, agree with you. That should I be a paid feature. I agree with you. But it's it's a good feature. It's one of the ones I until don't. until you you try and close it with the home button and then it's like still playing and you're trying to <laughs> like, scramble around. Try to close the video of like two cats humping or whatever and it just keeps going. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of sucks. So uh, you're not gonna be there on Wednesday, huh? For our shoot. Man, I fucked up. You know, I can't. Yeah. I gotta. Be, I can't be there. I'm getting bailed on. Are you gonna, are you, dude, you haven't been in a single episode of Million Dollars Butt this entire yeah, season. Yeah, so the one day I'm shooting and everyone leaves. I'm here. Uh, are you on Wednesday? <laughs> yeah. Guys, you want to take my place? They Okay. They came to me and they were like, can you... Oh. Can you film on Wednesday? Oh, Barbara! Barbara! Don't stop, Barbara, Barbara. don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to explode! All right, it's done. They came to me and said, can you film on Wednesday? I said... <laughs> No, my day's entirely booked. They said, well, what if we filmed in the morning and got you out early? I said, okay, well, I've got to be back at the studio to record audio by 11 a.m. If we can record- What are you recording audio for? 
Uh, I can't say yet. Is it the Hawkeye thing? No. What is it? Stop it. Whisper it. Can I say it? Uh, there's nobody here who would know. Okay. Um, so I have to be back. I have to be in <laughs> stage five to record I-11. And they're the ones who suggested it, and they were like, can you reschedule your recording, your audio thing? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, no, I've already got all of this other stuff. My whole Wednesday starting at 11 is entirely booked out. I have no free time, so I, I wanted to, but I, I just can't. Well, shame on you. Yeah, so. We'll should go do it. The bar part's the easy, that's what we're doing on Wednesday. The bar part's the easy part. I know, I've done it. I've been there. Which Give one are you in? Uh, member of the dick that illuminates. That's right. You were in that one. That was a good one. There was a guy at RTX Australia who cosplayed as that. Oh, yeah. I saw that guy. I, I think got, I got a picture of him. Yeah, he disappeared before I get a picture of him. That good. guy was awesome. All right. Well, it's about time to... Uh, All right. We wrap it up. Uh, guys, I, th- I want to say I think, uh, I think we had a really successful pancake podcast. The tastiest one yet, for sure. I think we learned a lot about pancakes and a little bit about uh, our prostates today. <laughs> What did you learn about, Barb? You're all out. You blew it all into my hands. No, there's more. You shot your load. So, hey. I, oh. oh, dear Lord. That'll be a gif. The, um, what is the thing that people do? How do you use a whipped cream to get hot? Well, show me later. If we do it in the podcast, someone will right, we'll, kill we'll themselves. Do, we'll what? do it in the post show, which is available exclusively to sponsors. All right. Bob, yeah. can all I right. give you eyebrows? So, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll give you eyebrows. We'll see you guys next week. Um, bye. Bye, everybody.